Yeah, yeah your top five of all time. East Coast, East Coast, West Coast, Ooh. Midwest. You don't got Ice no Cube and call it a day, bro. Ice Cube and Snoop call it a day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you get to the West, oh, don't say no cliche please. shit, man. Don't say no Snoop and the Cube yeah. betray. Don't. Cube don't on the list, bro. Cube on the list. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, but don't just say all the cliche top five niggas I'm expecting. That's true. Yeah, because Jay wouldn't make my top five East Coast. I don't listen to Jay. Like, I don't listen to Jay-Z. Hell no, I don't either, to be honest. Me either. He ain't on my list either. Oh, bet. Let's run this. Go ahead, Seth. Oh, uh, you want the top of the head? I mean, I'll go. Of the head. If, 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 if y'all need to go ahead, Danny. Go, go, go ahead, Danny. Go ahead and set it off, Danny. What, what coast y'all want to start with? Whichever one you feel like. All right, well, from, I'm from the South. I'm going to start with the South. All right, bet. Let's um, run it. Number five, I'm going to go T.I. Number five. I'm going to go Ludacris at number four. Okay. Number three, I'm going to go Juvenile. Oh, good choice. Good choice. Number two, I'm going to go... Starlito. Oh, good choice. And number one, I'm gonna go Andre 3000. How you gonna pick Starlito but not Don Trip? He that punched too much. Save my nigga. <laughs> See, better than Starlito altogether. No, not to me, cause Starlito, Starlito told like that real life shit, like shit, shit I, I can relate to. Well, you got for West, Danny. Okay. Oh, y'all wanna do all right? West, West. Who? Let's see. Number five. Number five, I'll go Snoop. Number four, I'm gonna go E40. This list trash to the Go ahead. Yeah, I ain't it, got it, no West. West is hard, bro. West is hard, bro. West is trash. Number three, DJ Quick. As a rapper, though? It's, it, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to hear your West list. West is hard, bro. I'm, I'm looking in my iTunes right now, bro. All right, keep going. Well, unless we count, we'll count Tupac for West, then I'm going to keep Number two, number one. Midwest, Midwest. I'm going to number five. Crazy Bone, number four. Oh, good choice. Good. Common number three. Lupe Fiasco number two. Nelly gonna be number one. Fire. Shit, Nelly? Yeah, Nelly. Fire, Fire choice. Go. N- Nelly ran shit when I was growing up. Go out the Midwest, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, East Coast. Okay, East Coast. Let me think. East Coast. Number five. I'm number five. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Ja Rule. Whoa, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> number Number four, I'm gonna say fifty cent. Man, this thing, man. Number three, how you put oh, fifty I, over Jay, man? Come on, over Ja Rule. How you put it's, it's, easy? How you put fifty in? You telling me it ain't five niggas uh, burning fifty cent? Let him like what he oh, like, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, I like you, what right, I like, bro. right, you right, right, you right. Eighties baby. Number three, number three, I'm gonna go Red Man. Number two, Nas. Number one, LL Cool J. You know, for, let me. All right, let me go. What well, we starting with the South? Start with the South. That's what I started with, yeah. I'm going to have to say. And no, I ain't doing none of these in particular order. I'm just naming. Uh, uh-huh. I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go Scarface. Fire. I'm going to have to go Chameleonaire. Awesome. Underrated. Underrated as fuck. Y'all not going to agree, but I'm going to say Master P. I respect uh, you. I agree. I because mean, P, 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 P meant a lot to a lot, you know. And I'm going to have to say probably Wayne. And for me, I'm going to say Project Pat. Not saying he better than anybody. Pat I'm is saying I like. So yeah, I, I listened to a lot of Pat growing up. A lot. Fire. That's, that's what I'm saying. You, you know what you, you, what you, you grew up on. You know? Definitely top five. Yeah. Definitely. So for Wes, I'm gonna have Enjoy. to say for Wes. I'm gonna say Q. I'm gonna say Pac. I'm gonna say Crooked Eye. I'm gonna say Brother Lynch, and I'm gonna say Sebo. Okay. Uh, Midwest, I'm gonna have to go. I ain't, I ain't putting Eminem on no list. Fuck all that. <laughs> but I, would, I, would, I, would, I would, I would have to say Crazy Bone, Kanye, Twister. Good choice. I like, uh, I like, uh, what the fuck is my nigga name in Detroit, man? Damn. Cool Royce? No, not none of them niggas, man. Uh, Calico. <laughs> peasy, Peasy, Peasy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I never heard of him. Uh, you know, Detroit nigga. Uh, and the last oh. one, I think I said Tech. Did I say Tech Nine yet? I about to say I forgot about Tech Nine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Tech Nine. So, and what I got left? East Coast. East Coast. Uh, Big Pun, Cool G Rap. I used That's to, I used to fuck with a lot. I I used to mess with a lot of Big Daddy Kane, so I'm had to say that just because I used to mess with him a lot. That's three. I used to actually like Method Man. He don't like one of the only understandable niggas out there. And I, I was gonna say Meth. Meth ain't live up to his potential though. That's my problem with Meth. Oh, he did. And as far as a fifth nigga, 
Probably Nas. Can't go wrong with Nas. Sam, you ain't do yours yet. All right, I'm ready. I got it. All right. So, start with the South. All right, so my number five, new rapper. I like Gunna. I've been listening to Gunna a lot. New on the scenes. I know he like a mumble rap, but super fire. It's catchy beats. Listen to him a lot. Number four, 2 Chains. Fuck with 2 Chains heavy. Just different. Um, number no, three, I got T.I. I listen to T.I. growing up a lot, so that was easy. Number two, Wayne. And then number one, Rick Ross. I mean, that's Miami, so of course I love me some Ross. All right. Let's do the West. All right, y'all ain't gonna like the West though. I don't listen to like no West artists. I right, number but five. Just I do three if you ain't got five. I mean, I just I right, I'll do my top three then. Number three is Earl Sweatshirt, super fire. Lyrics, yeah, crazy. Who is this nigga? Yeah, you Smack got the who is this nigga? Earl <laughs> Fire. Number two, I got the game. Can't really go wrong with game. Yeah, regardless of what he does not rap, but yeah, hey, I forgot I mean, about JCI. And then I got Tyler the Creator number one. I know y'all ain't gonna like that. Oh, one. pause, man. You gotta realize I'm young, man. That's what I like. I like hey. Tyler. You know, he's my nigga, baby. Rapping about fucking dudes and shit, though. Tyler is. It's it's hard to explain, but if you listen to the whole albums, it makes sense. It really does. It's crazy. All right, Midwest. All right, number five, I got Eminem. I know I be hating on M, but come on, I, everybody grew up on M. Fire to me. Number four, I got Kid Cudi. Come on. Oh, number three, we got Lupe. Lupe two, Kanye. And one, Nelly. So, you know. Now, East. Man, your Midwest list was trash, bro. I mean, I don't listen to the most. Hey, I listen to you going to stop hating on Nelly, bro. Yeah, I listen but to How do both of y'all niggas got Nelly, though? Y'all niggas ain't never just been Nelly listening to Nelly. Nah, Nelly no joke. Ran no joke. Shit, bro. No joke. When I travel and I'm on planes, I swear I'll be listening to Nelly albums. You will be surprised. It's slap. Country Grandma and Nellyville? What? I'm telling you. I'm Nelly is fire, bro. You, 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 hold on. You telling me y'all done just sat down and turned on some Nelly? For, yeah, yeah nigga. I, 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 I listen to Country Grandma. I listen to Country Grandma. I know you tried to downplay it, but I'm so, like, not even just the singles. Like, legit, the whole albums are fire. Nelly you can't is tell fire. Me, listen, you can't listen, tell listen, me Country Grandma in a classic. You can't tell listen, me Country Grandma Okay, this is what I will tell you. I guarantee ain't none of y'all just sat down and turned on hot in here. I guarantee you ain't never did that. But dilemma? Hey, come on. That's bro, a hard workout list. Fire. If I'm taking one, a road trip, on. I'm putting on Nelly. If I ain't if I ain't heard nothing in the wild, I want to hear a classic. I put yeah. on Nelly and Listen, play it. You ain't you ain't you ain't never been Air driving Force in one? the car by. Hold on. I guarantee you ain't never did that. You trying they to won't. downplay Nelly, and I get it. It's funny. Yeah, right, bro. Yeah. Come right. on. Well, it's not even his singles though. It's stuff like uh uh the the. The first two tracks on Country Grammar alone. St. Louis? Yeah, the St. Louis Fire. Come on, yeah. man. Come on, Tip Drill. Come on, The, tip niggas, drill. the Envy go. joint. Was the Envy nigga still Envy or something like that? Come on, man. Queen hate niggas. Kate will do. The Pimp Drill? Really you remember the Pimp Drill? But... You now. What? They loving me? Fire. What? You love me. You ain't feel loving on, me. Bro. You so really don't watch your yard. What he says, so dope out your yard. <laughs> all right, we Trying to pay no you back for concert, all the stress that I call. Go hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Fire. All right, moving right, moving right along. Oh, this is my last one. East Coast, East Coast. All right. Number five, I got ASAP Rocky. I used to listen to him a lot in, like, high school. Uh, Who you say? ASAP Rocky, fire. Bro, come on with this. Except Rocky. I'm young, bro. I mean, <laughs> I didn't grow up on the Big Daddy King. Bro, why, so why, why, why you didn't put Lil Nas X on your South list then? I mean, he too new. He ain't got enough. We talking about what I grew well, up I say he ain't got enough material. He ain't got enough yeah. material. I mean, I grew up on Rocky. I grew up on Rocky in high school, you know? Oh, I, okay. I don't even think Lil Nas X got an album out, bro. Yeah, he got one. I got Jim Jones at number four. I got Big at number three. DMX at number two. And, of course, Cam at number one. Like, I can't put this. That's trash. That nigga put Jim Jones in any top five. Who number one? Jim Jones fire now. <laughs> Hold on. Who your, now. Who your, who your Jim number Jim one? Jones. Jim, Jim Jones, Jones better than Cameron now, bro. Jim Jones is fire. He really is fire now, for real. What, now or always been? Nah, I ain't gonna say now. always been, but Hustler's poem is classic, but he's fire now. He actually is good now. 
Yeah, he he, he oh, better man. than Cameron now. I, yeah, I, I honestly, was he? Jim Jones is better than Cameron. Now. He really is. Well, we got writing for him. Yeah, well, we I mean, got writing do. for him. But not there. See, we just said it. We must got a ghostwriter. That yeah. thing ain't never been fire. Y'all ready? I right, go, go for it. Go ahead. All right, in the south, we're gonna go. Number one, Master P. Number two, Ti. Hey. Number three, Luda. Four. Jeezy, five, Trick Daddy. Gotta put Trick in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm from Miami. No. Gotta put Trick and gotta put Luda in there. All right. Might as well put um, Luke. Nah, 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 nah. Look what they want rapper. Nah, because I don't listen to the. the, the uh, nah, uh, Trick, uh, Trick, uh, Trick, uh, trick uh, is Okay. Uh, Midwest, Twister, Eminem. Gotta put Twister in there. Twister's fire. The underrated. Oh. Twisted does not have two good albums. You crazy as hell. You crazy, bro. The first Twisted album by itself is a classic. <laughs> well, all right. If you do got two good albums, that's it. Adrenaline Rush and what? Kamikaze. Get out wow, of here. Wow, then nah. Uh, Resurrection was fired. Better than Twisted. Kamikaze. Re- 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 Resurrection was fired, too. Yeah, I know it. Do you want to ride? <laughs> That's no, that wasn't even there. That wasn't even his I know, song. I know, I know, but but come on, man. The the intros on Twister when he opened them up, fire. All right, hey, Twister. Um, um, one of the best verses of all time. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Twist. I'm gonna do Twister, Eminem, Kanye, Nelly, and number five is gonna be Lupe Fiasco. Okay, you niggas on is Nelly and Lupe shit, man. Lupe is Lupe underrated. Is hard, Lupe is very underrated. Literally Lupe underrated. underrated. If not the greatest. Look, I'm not into that real hip hop head shit, so I just it just See, don't relate. And so that's, that's, that's why you can't relate. That's why you can't relate to our list though. I like Lupe is somebody you gotta listen to like, when you're in the movie. Nelly's got KRS Lupe the fuck out of here. I don't and if you listen to Lupe. You said Nelly got KRS one the fuck. And honorable Mitch gonna be Project Pat because I'm a I'm just like you, Clint. I was a Project Pat fan. The Mr. Don't right. Play, all that shit, I was listening to back then. So yeah, I, I, I listen to I Gorilla can... Pimp today, nigga. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, bro. I ride to that. All right, let's go. West Coast, I'm going to go Snoop. Uh, I'm going to go Ice Cube. I'm going to go uh, I'm gonna go Ice Cube. Can I, can I, can I, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I stop you right there? Yeah. Name one Snoop album besides Doggy Style that was fire. Ugh. The no, dog father dog was fire, bro. The, go- the, the god, the dog, the dog father. Everybody agreed that was, tra- was trash. Uh, yeah, that was trash. The last meal, the last CD. He, he even said it was trash. It he tried to blame it on the murder cases. Man, come on, it, it wasn't trash. Who was fire? The last Look meal, that one. Y'all don't trash. remember. All right, who else you got, G? Ice T, YG. I listen to YG. I don't care if y'all don't or not. YG, YG fire. Um, Ice T fire. Y'all forgot about Ice T. Oh, and man, I'm gonna go with um Crooked Eye because I don't like I hate E40. E40 is not. Yeah, I said Crooked Eye. I said Crooked Eye also to be honest. Crooked Eye is very underrated, very classic and underrated. All right. E40. E- All right. Name a Crooked Eye album. East Coast. East Coast. Crooked Eye ain't got it. Well, man, we ain't doing that. East Coast. Um. <laughs> damn. Why ain't say Royce the Five Nine? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said name a Crooked Eye album, right? Right. Didn't you have Andre Three Thousand on your list? The love below. Uh, hey, that wasn't that's a, not a rap, rap album. album. That's not that's a solo album. That's not a rap album. He rapped on it. <laughs> not a rap album. But that's not <laughs> his. That's not a solo album, bro. That's not a solo album. That it's is a collaboration. Verse album. on there. <laughs> it, it, it's the best verse on the album. Oh God. Anyway, moving on. Andre along. 3000 overrated, but anyway, East Coast. Bro, let's go East Coast. That? East Coast. Um, I'm gonna say Joe Button. Oh, Y'all can hate, but Joe Button is lyrical. Joe Button, <laughs> uh, Nas, <laughs> Big Pun, Pac. Pac. <laughs> I said pun also. And ho. Uh, okay, uh, Daddy. Yo. How do you have a nigga who doesn't have a rap album as one of the greatest rappers? Because Outkast is the greatest... You talking about time. six nine? No, I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about uh, Andre three thousand. Yeah, Andre three thousand not a he don't count. Wait, no, because uh, wait, if you name your top five hip hop duos, Outkast is gonna be number one on everybody's list. I never liked Outkast. No, because some people uh, some, some people put UGK them. over them. Some people put UGK over them. Nah, yeah, ain't nobody put no UGK Give me over MJG. them. Bro. So some okay, people, I just did. 
Who who your number one group? A duo all time. Group and duo is different. Number who one number duo. One duo? Yeah. That, it definitely ain't no outcast. I'm listening. It, it ain't, ain't dog pound. It, it ain't dog pound. It ain't mob deep. Who see me? To be honest, to be honest with you, uh, no hell no. To be honest with you, my favorite duo of all time is Helter Skelter. To be honest with you. Hey Joe, you ready for this? Okay. Joey, you ready? <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see this shit. Bad me, bad me, evil. Royce and M. Oh God! Oh, that, that's no. a that's a duo, man. Now nah, technically, kill him on every track, but they a duo together, together. Yeah, they was. They a duo. Who, who you got, Sam? Who you got, Sam? Cause they, they talking crazy. I'm gonna take the eight ball MJG. Outcast is so overrated. They trash. Eight ball so MJG is trash. Uh, I mean, you ain't gotta like them. You got, yeah, you gotta get out here with that. You ain't gotta they're like trash. them. They trash. They well, listen, legend. I, I mean, that's my favorite duo. What, name five name name five hits from them. No, we not doing the hit shit. We not doing all that. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if they ain't got hits, they try. Type of whack niggas with hits, we ain't doing that. <laughs> I mean I pump mean, it up I... was a hit. Technically. Come on, man. Right, the, who let the dogs out was a hit. Like we ain't doing that. You could throw Webby and Boosie up there. They alright. Oh hell they yeah. High, but they alright. Yeah, you could do that. You could do Boosie. If y'all don't if y'all don't, if, if y'all don't count if y'all don't count Royce and M, I'ma say Boosie and Webby is number one to me over Outcast. Hey, hey. And that's personal. And, and Webby was and, and and Webby was always way better than Boosie. Right. Always. I don't know about that. He just never On the got group project, like, it's not kinda not even close. On the group project, not the solo project, though. I feel like Boosie always was a solo artist. All right, what about groups, though? Who the best group? Uh, Tribe Called Quest. Bone Thugs. Bone? Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Not mad. Like, I'm mad to say Bone. We, we talking about impact. We talking about relevance. We talking about, like, come on, man. Bone, hands down. I'm taking 3 Six Mafia, but, hey, I ain't mad at Bone. Bone's a great choice. I just grew up on more three six. So. This nigga said Miko. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Come, on, Come on, man. Come on. Migos ain't whack though, man. They, Migos ain't whack. Bro, they trash. Don't, don't do that. Do don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Stir fry. Uh, Migos six. is not whack. Cooking in the in the kitchen like stir fry. Get out of here, man. That's fire. You don't cook Listen, you, you can. Man, come on, they take man. one bar and say all three of them trash. Bro, one bar. Mama man. sold me not to sell work. T-shirt. Get out of here, five, bro. Color t-shirt. That's not fire to you? No, it's not. I don't listen to shit like that. Because you don't get the bar. I could, I could listen. I could take my favorite rapper of all time and make a whole video of whack ass shitty to see. Come on, like, that ain't got nothing. Yeah, Cam, my favorite, and right, I can do plenty right. of lists. Cam can be super trash. Computer's putin. Come on, bro. Like you're not gonna like you every could do that bar. for every artist though. Like you, bro. Can't compared to artist. Bone Thugs, they got. They got classic. First off, it sounds like they mumbling. don't Let's disrespect Bone Thugs and Harmony like that. Notorious Thugs, you know that song. Tell me what they said. Tell me what they saying after Biggie. Rap it word for word. Come on. I, I, bro. They wasn't they mumbling. Not mumbling. They not mumbling. Like they mumbling. The they wasn't mumbling. Nah, they wasn't. <laughs> you know, they you wasn't, know the first bro. time you heard that song, it, it sounds like they mumbling. You know, I, be I bet you understand everything Busy said on first of the month. Everything he said, first of the month, you you was but I'm saying, saying my point the song. Is you could pick any song or any artist. And you, I mean, it, they could have trash, you know. And Bone Thugs is fire, definitely top five. Easy. Oh, come on, bro. Me, me go. Look, you got different stages of hip hop. You got you got lyrical, you got hip hop, and then you got. Don't say nobody can't quote no Busy Bone verse, bro. Bone Thugs. I'm taking. I mean, Migos is Migos. I mean, they got a pretty good impact. You may not like them, but they might be up there. Not like I the compare top, them niggas with three six end. though. Compare them with three six or your eight balls in MJG though. That's that's what you gotta do. But why can't they, we compare they pass, them? To... They passed them up already. You wait, why can't we pass them? To, why can't we compare them? To, um... You gotta do the error, bro. Like who messing with Migos this era? Yeah, you can do that, but you can't say like Migos better than Wu Tang or something like that. You yes, can't you can. do that. But why can't nah. you? Like, why are you not allowed to you compare? Because they we do they that talking about different yo. shit. They talking about totally different. You don't, stuff. you don't know nothing it's about the five percenters, bro. I don't. All right then, so you you can't say Wu Tang over the Migos, and you don't know exactly. what Wu Tang talking about. Exactly. Nah, man. 
I'm not a Wu Tang fan. I'm not taking up for Wu Tang, but I'm just saying you can't. I'm saying though, you can't compare the group. You gotta view it. Your statement is invalid. Yeah, because if you ask a bunch of my friends, they're honestly gonna be like, "Yo, Migos." I mean, they grew up listening to more Migos than Wu Tang, most likely. So they probably will have more arguments that Migos is better, and that's there's not flaw in their logic. They just didn't listen to Wu Tang, probably. Right. So they they can quote everything. So you can't compare if you didn't listen to them. You can't compare, right? But you can listen to an artist and just think they trash. I mean, the first time I listened to Cam, I thought he was garbage. When I listen to Jay Z, I think he's trash. It doesn't take away from the artist, Jay Z. So how how did you become a Cam? Don't have to like him. How did you? How did you become a Cam fan? Eventually, I started listening to him more because everybody's like, "Well, you got to listen to him differently, and you'll understand his rhyme pattern. You'll understand what he's talking about." And yeah, that was true for him. But everybody says Jay Z is, you know, Jay Z and Kendrick and all these artists are fire. I don't like Jay Z. I don't like Kendrick. I can't listen to them. But I can't take away their greatness. Like, mm. I mean, the album sales, the respect they have in the game. I can't take away that from anybody. Like, all these rappers are, you know, they're honoring them and they say they're so great. Then it mm. must be a reason. So, what album that you don't that you don't like from Jay? What album that I don't you like don't like any Jay Z. Like, I I can't put to me personally. Just this is me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't put on a Jay Z album and listen to it start to finish. That's just me. That's personal. Wow. Same thing with Kendrick. You... I've listened to plenty of Kendrick. I can't do it, and that's me. But you can throw an Amigos album, and I know you're going to say it's not the same. It's, it's obviously different, but I can listen to the little catchy, lame punch lines with the fire beats from Migos over at Jay-Z. Now, would I say Migos is better than Jay-Z? Nah. But you can't tell me they are we can't compare them. Like, why can't mm. we compare them? Wow. I don't know, man. I... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I mean, in this era, you can, you can, but back in 1999, you couldn't, you couldn't. Yeah, if you put Migos in 1999, they body you shit. Nah, bro. Migos would have been not, a different wave, not, though. Cash money taking over for the 9 out of 2001 body and shit? Come on, yeah. bro. He got facts. He coming with facts. <laughs> he has a good point. He has a really good yeah. point. <laughs> The Migos got a million hits. Everything they drop is like really good music. Like even if it's not bar heavy, people yeah, like culture, that shit. Culture is a classic. <laughs> culture one is a classic. And like I used to think it was just because they was in the group together, but like even individually, like Offset then took off. Like that usually don't happen. It's usually just that one nigga. You get body. Okay. So, so, so you. let me let me ask you this. Okay, right, who who's your best tongue tongue? What you do you call it? Tongue twister so, or I mean, what do you call it? That uh, double time shit. Your Eminem. fat, your fat, your fast rapper. Eminem for sure. No, I'm not What's gonna say. I can't say uh, M because M is not known for that. He just started that recently, yes, though. Let me get uh, when is recently. I'm gonna give you a list of people. Twister. I'm gonna Twister give you an example. Of him doing Bust- that shit in 1998. Buster, Mystical, <laughs> Twister. Mystical don't rap fast, bro. Mi- Twister. Mystical don't belong in this conversation. If you're gonna put Twister and Buster in there, we gotta sit Mystical down. Right. Mystical never did that before. He, he don't, don't rap fast. Did. No, he don't rap fast. He, 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 he can't compete the, in this weight class. He got the twerk tone. He's not necessarily rapping fast. He's just not rapping his regular voice. Okay, 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 okay. No, because I thought on um um your man right there, he went kind of dumb dumb fast. You know. Yeah, like that's kind. Yeah, he up tempo rapper. He just not like I wouldn't put him next to Buster Rhymes. Okay, okay. So pun Buster, Twister, Twister. You could say Eminem, and then um, Tech, who else? Tech, Tech Nine. Nine. Tech Nine. It's Twister. it's Twister, no debate. Okay. I think uh, Twister ain't saying a bunch of dumb shit, though. No, nah, I like, think Twister's Twister ability bit. to just rap and make, like, actual good songs. Like, you got to realize, like, he got hit singles, and he's rapping fast on it. Everybody else you name isn't necessarily, like, you're, they got a few, but Twister in his prime has hit singles, and people are trying to mimic it. Like I think that's yeah. really the best. Like so, so overnight celebrity or break your neck. Ah, oh. overnight celebrity. Hey, this is getting good. This is getting good. <laughs> Damn. Ah, uh. niggas don't listen to break your neck today. You still listen to overnight celebrity. Yeah, hey, overnight I celebrity. Come on, niggas went to that shit is. Like, that shit is classic. What's the one with um? Was on that beat? What's the what one the song um, with um Kanye and um the uh, Jamie Foxx joint, whatever that is, what, whatever the hell that song is? Slow jam, huh? Yeah, slow jams, fire, fire. Slow, yeah, okay, slow jams or touch it. Oh, touch it was fire. Touch it remix. remix. I like the remix. No, yeah, the remixes was fire. Busta was not even crazy on it. Busta wasn't crazy. The remixes was crazy though. He had like he had like Papoos because he had like Papoos. He had like 
five Missy fingers of death. You don't Remy. understand. Rod Digger had the best verse. Yeah. Hell nah, man. Now, but on Touch It, are we talking like, but then again, Buster had the song with uh, the Look At Me Now with Chris Brown. He was spazzing on that one. He was spazzing on that one. He killed it. He was spazzing on that one. I don't know. It's actually closer than. Yeah, it's very, very close. Like, that's why I say Mystical can't really be in this conversation. I just thought it was a I mean, fast rapper. Go I don't know. I just know some tracks he is, some tracks he kind of. Uh... Good mm-hmm. choice though. Good choice. I like Twister though. I'm gonna take Twister. I think. I mean, I listen to more Twister, more albums of Twister. I ain't really listening to that bus unless it's like a. Um, I'm gonna say people. Busy Three O. Who's that? Busy Bone uh... Three O. Fam, can't nobody no, call no Busy on all of their biggest so I know Tony Busy Bone song though, like. So no... still- Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but that's how Eminem rapping now on Rap God and other stuff like that, though. And they can't Rap understand. God was like they can't. Seven years ago, fam, you gotta let that go. They said no, no. Even the Juice World track, they saying they don't know what the fuck Eminem saying. Who said they don't know? I tell you right now. A lot of fans, man. A lot of fans. That's why he did the um. That's why he did the challenge. He did the challenge because people like to like. There's a whole YouTube thing where people like do Eminem records. Like it's covers and shit, but as, aside from that, just just because you can't quote the bars doesn't mean it's not fire. Just because you don't know Busy Bone bars, that doesn't mean he's not saying something. Then what makes it fire? If you don't know what he's saying, then what? How do you know it's fire? Because I read the lyrics on, but, on, on I mean, Ohala.com. Hey, I read the lyrics. I agree with him. That's though. fine, but like, <laughs> nah, Joey, Joey. When I was saying Lil Uzi's up? fire. I could quote Lil Uzi all day. They was telling me Uzi trash. And I'm like, all right, I get it. I could quote lyrics all day. Don't make them fire. That's true. I'm not saying that quoting lyrics makes it fire. I'm just like, you can't tell me something's fire just because you thought it was. I don't trust your opinion. Like, <laughs> you got to convince me. Like, show me the fire. That's true. That's true. I get what you're saying, though. It's fact. Hey, like, G, if I say fire, I'm going to quote this dollars at G. <laughs> like, baby. <best, laughs> No nah, man. I mean, dollars, do, do I do I need to start playing records in the group so you can so you can hear it? I mean, what would you like? What, what, what we want to go with this? Your headphones? Because <laughs> I can play I mean, some busy joints right now. Yeah. What what busy? What's your goals for busy joint? I would love to know. Like, because if you are for real, for real busy bone fan, I don't think them niggas exist. But if you are, <laughs> aside from nigga that kidnapped hey. you, wait, 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 hold on. Are you telling you're me busy bone? No real so, talk. So, you're so, a busy bone fan. Busy Bone, look, the Busy Bone uh, Carbon Monoxide, that, that album is trash. fire, bro. No, G. I you never knew that, that album and that album was trash. It wasn't trash, I can't man. Do it Don't get... say it's trash because I, I didn't miss it. I want to give it a 10, but it's, it's fire. It's... And, and Busy wasn't even rapping fast on that album. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. Yeah, G dying tonight. Look, 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 look. So you're telling me if Offset and Busy got on Instagram Live, and they mm-hmm. did a battle of Offset 3-0. The first Offset is Bobby? No. No. <laughs> no draw? No. Like, no draw right now? Offset 3 Nah, man. Offset That's... got a classic, Back. man. Classics. Back. He don't have no classic, man. Rick Flair drip is bigger than any Busy Bone song ever. Tell hey. me why. Nah, me I'm I ain't going to agree with that, bro. That's facts. Nah, just fine. busy though. I ain't talking about bomb thugs. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I give you that. Then I, I mean, yeah, but, I mean, yeah, as a solo, yeah, but as a group, no. Bone will three o them alone. Whoa, I don't know about that though. I think it's gonna be closer to come you on, bro. Game. Don't do that. I promise you, they gonna run, they gonna put like five songs that everybody know, and these niggas gonna start hitting them with the question marks. Like, what the fuck is this? Nope, because on Bone Resurrection, they Back. got more joints. Nah, I think it's gonna be close. More joints than Migos. Every Migos probably Migos got more joints than everybody know in the past year than they Correct. got. No. You, you, you overhyping them now. <laughs> you overhyping them now, man. Come on. Fam. Nah, no, like, you died, G. Fam, it'd be like some bullshit that people just fuck with. Like, it ain't right, even, right. like I'm not even saying like like people like this is like quality shit, but like people like it and people gonna know it. If so if it was like a song for song shit, like people gonna know Fight Night. Nah, what right. you gonna put up against that? Okay, name name me name me five Migo songs. Name them. And I'm gonna right. name you. I'm gonna name you ten bone songs that everybody knows. The T-shirt song, fire. Okay, Versace. Okay, Versace, Versace, fire. Okay, okay. 
So you want to you want to go one for one, or are we doing this? You no, go straight? ahead, go ahead. Rick Flair okay. joint, the Rick Flair joint, fire. Okay, Rick Flair drip. Uh, let's yeah, do yeah, a yeah, fight. Yeah. That one. Uh, stir fry. Um, fire. goddamn T-shirt. Uh, goddamn motorsport. Like, that's like the battle right. joint. Stop right there. That's five. Okay, that's five. That's the five most popular ones they put out since their career started. Okay. I mean, here go bone. Yeah. Here go bone. First of the month. Crossroad. Look into my eyes. Change the world. Only the first two count. Um, right. You done lost the whole. You done lost nah, the nah, nah. People because already only, know. People only, know those, man. No, nah. only true fans <laughs> are gonna know those other songs. What you gotta realize? Only true mm. fans. I know the first two. I'm not saying I'm big. Yeah. But off the top of my head, do I know what song you're talking about? No, I know Crossroads and I know First of the Month. If so you I never heard Look Into My Eyes? You never seen the Batman and Robin no, and it was on the soundtrack? I heard the song. I'm saying I'll probably know it. But you're telling me off the name versus what? No, nah, this, this shit was, no, this shit was big for the Batman. I already know. In the kitchen, Bro. Like stir fry. I already know. When he's talking about Versace, I already know. It's like, I know. The crowd is going to eat you alive if this, exactly. is a, if this is a song for song shit. You're not going to beat. You're not going to beat the Migos. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know about that. Are you dying? Even with Wu Tang, you wouldn't beat the Migos. Exactly. Wu Tang's audience need a big is too artist. You need really big group that has nothing but crazy singles to come close. I mean, Outcast would be many. the only one, though. It's, it's not too many. Outcast might be close because Outcast has a lot of singles. You got I, I tried with I tried with Akon. You haven't heard of that? Thuggish, ruggish bone. Yeah, you man. haven't heard of that? I, I mean, you asked me, have I heard of you it? You ain't got tears, man. Yes. Do I know it off the top of my head? No, but I'm telling you. I know them shits, but you ain't got 10. Outcast will buy. Outcast might be closer because you got the you got the Miss Jackson, the Hey Ya, you know, the So Fresh. Outcast can be closer. I get it, but but like oh, Outcast nah. has like 20 years to like pull hits from. Neo has yeah. been out for like five. That's true. Well, he, he he walking into the light. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Y'all, y'all sleep, man. Body nah. rock. Let me keep going. Body rock. Creeping what? on the come I don't up. Even know what the fuck that song is. That was the um off the Art of War album, the second album, the third. No, the oh. third album. You definitely lost the crowd, fam. Yeah, these, these are lost. singles. These are singles. These are not songs I'm making up. First of the month for the love. Nah, of- I'm not taking that away from you. I'm just saying, like for a group, is gonna you're gonna need a lot of singles to come close to. Days of our people. lives, ghetto cowboy. For the love of money. Crazy oh, man. Singles, though. That's what you got to realize. Every, every for the love of money, yeah, you got that one. These are the days of our lives, of our lives. Never now, heard look, of it. Even on Beagle's it. album culture, they got like four or five. So y'all never albums. heard Bone albums, then? It's no, point of, it's no point of debating this, because if you never heard none of the albums, you will have to know, because these are singles that was on the radio. The days of our lives was on the radio. Let me ask you a question. Have you heard of Migos' album? No, I don't listen to them. I just know they singles on the you radio, though. Them. Yes. You can't escape the Migos. I can get away from the Bone Thugs if I don't want to hear them. You yeah. can't get away from the Migos. Everywhere. Yes, I can, because I got Everywhere. satellite radio. <laughs> and guess what? They don't play that bullshit on satellite radio. Yes, the fuck they do. No, yes, they, they, they don't. You lying. <laughs> yes, they do. No, not 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 like the local V103 <laughs> in the city. Yeah, he's staying in Atlanta. That's the, that's the crazy part. Bam. You can't get away from the Migos. Migos, they, they impact is too big right now. It's impossible. You really capping. Impact 3-0. on what? 3-0. On hip hop. 3-0. Oh, Everybody sound like they Eminem not is rapping 3-0. like the Migos. They not 3-6 Mafia. They not. They not. Eminem, like... is rap- Eminem is rapping like the Migos. Y'all got a couple of mansions. Still, I don't have any manners. Ah, you got a couple of body. <laughs> Get I will listen to D12 Devil's Night any day before I listen to a Migos album. I'm sorry. That's you, though. You're in the minority, though. It's kind of cool, but it's not that great. But, like, Migos albums are actually, like, really enjoyable. So exactly. if, you call in, if you call in Migos a classic album, the culture, culture. I culture call classic. Devil's Night Devil's Night by D12 is a classic album. Okay, so, yeah. AKG, why you is got it, one why vote. Why isn't the Migos a classic vote. album? That's what everybody's listening to right now, though. Like, why isn't that a classic? Everybody that's 30 and under is listening to it. Man, like, that's what that sound is running hip-hop. Got T-shirt, like, call casting, bad and bougie. Come on now. Hip hop is is for the younger generation though, so you could dirty and younger listen to the music. It's cool. Well, I mean, hip hop is getting older and shit. Like, cause like we finally got older artists that are actually still good. But like, so I mean, it's it's an audience for that shit for like the older crowd. But like, you gotta understand sound? something. 
I'm still listening to to, to music from from 1999 and back. Respect. And now when I get when I right, so I mean, okay, I might be, but when I get in the car, I'm turning on Tupac, mm -hmm. Me Against the World, or All Eyes on Me, or Michael Velli. That's what I'm listening to. I'm not turning on my car and turning up my bass to Amigos. I'm not doing that, bro. Why not? Because I, I can't relate sound. to them. I can't relate yeah, you to can. them. No, I can't. No, when I'm, having, fucking baby. Like, when I'm, when I'm having a, a when I'm having a world. shitty day, I'm putting on Pac, Me Against the World, because it's it's inspirational. I can. It's me against the world. I can. Damn. It gets me through my day. I'm not to stay on work. That's inspirational as fuck. Fuck. It's inspirational to the teenagers. They talking to the teenagers to say, don't go this way like I did or whatever bullshit hey. like that. Oh, yeah. My my but I'm past is that, though. Movie. It's so flat. I'm past that. 17.5, man. Same color as your shirt. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all trolling, man. Y'all trolling for real, for real. I, mean, I really do like the Migos. Like, I'm, I'm usually on my lyrical, miracle hip hop shit, but I fuck with the Migos. They like, I just do. Nah, and ain't nothing wrong music. with them. But I just, I'm just saying, I'm just still stuck in that, um, that old, that old, nah, that like old hip hop too. move. That's all. I That's like all. It. I'm but just, low key, Migos is a top group. They really are a top group. All and I and group. I think I'm gonna always be like that, bro. I'm always gonna be stuck on that old school hip hop. I'm still gonna listen to stuff from 20 years ago consistently. I'm never gonna tune into the new stuff. Hey, I, I can't. You probably like should that. though. You probably should. Like I would just completely ignore the new shit. Like some might, of this rap, like Blueface, you can skip him. <laughs> Blueface ain't gonna be around for too much longer. Hey. <laughs> like some of these niggas. Like they making some stay. But I'm putting on the Bone Thugs album, bro. I'm riding to Bone Thug. You you riding by yourself, I promise you. <laughs> of course I am. Dirty, <laughs> if it ain't that riding dirty verse, ain't nobody listening to Bone Thugs no more. Body bag. Right. Crazy, man. When people look over, they be like, damn, he playing that he playing that classic. When I pull up at the store, they they like he putting that not 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 in Atlanta, dog. Nobody ain't listening to no bone over no Migos in Atlanta. That's bullshit. Yo G. Say what's up to Rich Dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all got to get back to work. I'm still listening to this shit. I'll probably be in the chat somewhere. Yeah, no doubt. But, Sam, I don't care what people listening to in Atlanta. I man took, a, took a, I a, a, to. a smoke break to whoop your ass going back to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I agree. I know you shouldn't care what people listen to. I get that. But I'm saying... At least being a little bit in tune with the modern, like, you know, there's so many modern rappers I don't like, but, you know, it's nothing wrong with being in tune, listening to, like, two or three songs. Because they all sound the same. They not, none of them stand nah, out. Nah. You, you I mean, said you I, like Gunna, you like Uzi. Who, what's the difference between them? They, 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 they no, make music. I mean, I get what you're saying, but those two don't sound the same. Gunna sounds like Lil Baby and, like, you know. All of them sound the same because they all they do the same da -da 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 like Migos. Da -da 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 uh -uh. Uzi is different because Uzi is more of a rock star, but that's not here. That I get what you're saying though. Like you're right, but a they they artist. make the same type of content of music though. They're oh, not yeah, yeah, standing yeah. out yeah. from each other. Yeah. But I mean that's that's common with a lot of music. I mean you could take a down south artist, you can get like a what you want a Gucci man, and you can get an up north artist. Like I mean. Pit, Pit Cam, for example, they both essentially talking about drugs and guns, right? I know it sounds mm -hmm. different, but they, I mean, uh -huh. content-wise, it's the same, right? Mm -hmm. So, sure, I know a lot of the artists do sound the same, but there's not that much to talk about. I mean, we ain't, we, we gonna take it, we gonna see it's corny if an artist is talking about what, saving the world or something, like, we gonna see it's corny, like, you know? So, but nah, all I'm saying is, like, I agree, a lot of artists sound the same, ain't nothing wrong with just putting the ear to it i like a lot of old music too but you know what though what's funny like i could say the same thing to you say well you 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 missing out on jay-z because you no. said well I, I never could listen to a jay-z album mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you never took the time to listen to a jay-z album so if nah, i sit I you down now. okay but well, that's why i asked you what album did you did did you not so like this is, this is hey, i never heard no, of no, Jay -Z no. i mean i could pull it no no so listen to me so i mean I grew up obviously like in Miami and stuff. So my brothers and they always put me up on, you know, South, you know, that's why, you know, I got like, you know, the project pass and the, the trick daddy, the Rick Ross, all that. So, you know, we was uh -huh. never too big on, you know, the, the Jay Z's at least, you know, my brothers. So I was cool. Uh -huh. But once I came to like high school and college, you know, 
I'm interacting with so many different people from around the world. You know, they're like, yo, Jay-Z's fire, Jay-Z's fire. You know, Twitter's blowing up and all that stuff. So like, all right, cool. Let me listen. So I put on a Jay-Z. I don't even know. I, I put on, I've tried multiple times to put on Jay-Z albums and listen to them start to finish. And it's just not my vibe. I'm not saying he's whack. He's just not my vibe. So, yeah, I agree. I may be missing out on him. But, I mean, he's just not me. He's just not you can't, me. You can't, you can't relate to it. And that's how I feel about Migo. I, it's not my vibe. I can't. But, I, I mean, can't relate to them. Like, I'm not in the club turning up and jumping up and down. I, I, I give you that. I give you that. Because then, it, then it, that yeah, ain't I me, bro. Lie. I don't I, club. I can't lie. I can't lie. Most of the reason I do listen to most of the rap I do listen to is because you know I'm still going out to clubs. I'm still going to parties. Exactly. And when I'm exactly. going to parties and clubs, nobody's gonna like. No disrespect to you know all the old hip hop heads, but they're not gonna be playing that. They're gonna be playing that for what, like ten minutes. And then they're going to be playing what? They're going to be playing Migos. They're going to be playing Uzi. They're going to be playing... Right. That's my point. That's my point. And bro, I don't go I, I out. I don't go out, bro. I don't I do not do that, bro. I'm past that. So I don't do that. But when I'm sitting alone or when I'm just chilling or, or trying to smoke or whatever, I'm putting on some pop or some real shit that I can relate right, to. Well, let me ask some you this. What's so great about Jay-Z, though? Like, what is so great about him? Because everybody says he's the GOAT. And I just want to know what is so good about him. Like Not what a damn thing. I mean, first of all, he don't write his stuff. So that in itself, you know, that he can freestyle off the dome. He like he freestyled the whole black album. He went in the booth and all his verses is in his head. So he went in there and recorded Dirt Off My Shoulder. The whole black album documentary is is, is on YouTube. So you could you could you could look at it, but he But wait, wait, wait. I'm not even trying I'm just playing devil's advocate here. How do we know he didn't write it and just memorize it? That's what I want to know first. Because you know he wrote four four four, right? That was garbage. Mm, I mean, he probably did, but I'm just saying in his early stage, he didn't. All right, no, the, I'm the black album. Me. He he freestyled the black album. You you got no, no, live. No, no, look, the only quit. reason I can, the only reason I can like kind of like get with that is because, I you know obviously you know I'm big on Kim and Dipset and all that, but they said multiple times when Jay Z would come in the booth when he was at the Rock, he would go in on a one take. And just get it done. Now I don't know how true that is, but there's you know there's a lot of different accounts that say that's true. That's yeah. fine, but you can't tell me an artist is a goat because they you know. No, 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 no. I I personally don't think Jay Z is the goat. No, but I'm just saying. Oh lord, you the, go the the ability to do that is amazing because a lot of a lot of artists can't do that. Another thing is just the topics that he touch on in his music. You know what I'm saying? And and his rhyme flow, his bars, bro. He got he got he's not. I mean, but he used to be more crazy when he first dropped Reasonable Doubt, the stuff that he was talking about then, up into, I say, Black Album. And after Black Album, that's when I stopped listening to him, really, because everything right, like... Up. Let me ask you uh -huh. a different question, so we could... I just want to I want to try to get this point across in, like, the best way. So, if we're talking, like, a pop artist, all the time, would you say somebody, like, maybe, like, a Michael Jackson or somebody like that would be, like, the goat for pop. If you had to pick some artists like that, the goat of pop. Yeah, like you know, like yeah, whoever's. Like oh, Michael best. Jackson. Nobody can fuck with Michael Jackson. Ever. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, perfect. All right, but why is that? Why? Why would you say that? I'm trying to get to a point. Don't answer that. He's about to kill you. <laughs> no, I'm legit. I, I ain't trying to kill him. I'm just trying to get to a point, and I'm trying to make him see something. Because when we make it rap, everybody's different. But when we make it pop, or we can make it rock, or any other genre. We already know who, clearly who it is. But it is like, but M MJ you. was unique, bro. You like okay. he was unique in his own way. He so had you, his own wave yeah. and all yeah. this, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Albums, yeah. classic. Everybody sing, right dance, right. everything. I mean, okay. now tell me what's unique about Jay Z. You gotta ask a Jay Z fan that says that he's the goat. You can't ask me that, really. But the thing is, you don't have to be a Michael Jackson fan to defend him. And I'm not saying you are or not, but anybody will be able to defend him and say he's the GOAT. But when it comes to rap, we always pick and choose. We make it so, like, subjective. But why is that? Every other genre, they have, you know, GOATs. Everybody can make it clear as day mm -hmm. who the GOAT is. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? I don't know. I don't know about right, that. I'm that's gonna, that's, that's kind of tricky. To, and I'll let you know. Like, that's you know, kind of tricky. All right. Let's say, like, alternative. We'll say, like, the Beatles. We're not going to agree the Beatles not, like, the best, like, what? Rock, alternative? Yes or no? I don't, I don't listen to that genre of music, so I can't say. I, I mean, but everybody that, you know, knows that music will say the Beatles, right? I mean, I mean, you at least know the name. You ain't got to know. So, 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 since you're more in tune in this, in this generation, 
who is your go of pop? Would it be Bruno Mars to you? Because you were you wasn't listening to Michael Jackson, right? I mean, but even then, from like me growing up, I would make the case for Michael Jackson. But who do I think is the best like pop artist right now? Uh, I don't even know a Bruno. I mean, honestly, the it's gonna be a lame pick. But if we talking like numbers and stuff, Drake is easily the best choice. If we're just being realistic, Drake. Drake has hits nonstop. You can't. You want to say Drake for pop? I mean, if you want to throw him in, I mean, I don't know what you want. I mean, to but him. but he rapped though. You can't. I'm talking about somebody that strictly does what Bruno, Michael Jackson, and Chris Brown does. Who's the Justin go? Timberlake? Oh, that was hard, actually. That's why Justin I think Timberlake. I think I think, I think over the Bruno Mars. So, Hell no, yeah! I just think the path is so hard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think Michael Jackson put the bar. So What's the high last Justin Timberlake song he dropped? He just did the whole Man of the Woods last year. Never knew. I mean, you could throw... I mean, we may have to throw Beyonce up there. Beyonce got movies. But I can name you Bruno Mars. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's fire. Bruno not doing Justin Timberlake numbers, man. But it's not that. I feel like pop is different because we set the bar so high. We got Michael Jackson on such a pedestal that nobody can even... Even if they do the numbers, they do. They won't ever touch it. They just won't touch it. It's not possible. Mm-hmm. When he was unique, correct? But, no, because like, I don't see people. I don't see people on different Facebook posts and debate groups say that Chris Brown is the Michael Jackson of this era. I don't see posts, era? posts like that. This yeah. era, era is the key word, bro. Yeah, but you won't ever say Chris Brown. No, nah, but then and, then and I have seen some people say he's better than um, Michael Jackson. For real, no. I mean, no, you may no. not agree, but people actually think that though. People, people born two thousand and up would probably think that. Look, dog, th- think about this, right? Michael Jackson died, right? Mm-hmm. You know how many people killed themselves because Michael Jackson died? Like, who else can you say that for? Michael Jackson was one of a kind, and <laughs> I fuck with Chris Brown. Chris Brown is dope, but even Chris Brown himself will tell you. It's not close. Some people just have that effect. I think Michael Jackson, the stuff, the type of records that he made, like yeah. "Heal the World" and "Earth Song," and yeah. I mean, those records touch people. They, they, yeah. they really. It's accessible. Oh, it's really yeah, accessible. Like Drake ain't making those type of records, bro. He ain't making those. But type if we're talking like records, bro. Nah, I'm not like. If we're just talking a pop, I mean, I don't know what you want to classify as Drake as, but we're saying pop. I mean, I guess that's the best way to put him. He's a popular artist. Mm-hmm. Drake is kind. Of, I'm not saying he's like up there mm-hmm. like Michael. Jackson. I would put ne- I would put Nelly over Drake overall. I would no. put Nelly over Drake. No, that's not can't. close. Yeah, you it's can't. not close because Drake. The one thing that Drake has is he's been on a run since his first. Like he's not he's not stopped. Everything Drake drops is. I'm not gonna say it's fire, but it's a hit. It, has he sold? Like has it. he went diamond and sold what Nelly did ever? Yeah, technically yes. What well, one album? I'm talking about one album. It, it, you can't do albums because of streaming now. Streaming is a different, to be fair though. But I mean, if we talking numbers, that's different though. Like if we just talking numbers, that's a different topic because we gonna have a completely different people saying numbers matter. Even if we change it to hip hop, we gonna have to throw up who, who we gonna have to throw up? like Vanilla Ice up there, right? We gonna right. have to throw. MC, MC Hammer. Hammer. MC Hammer's up there then, right? If we throw if we numbers, that's why I don't like numbers. But you and I both know what we're talking about, so we should never have to go to numbers. We're talking about quality music. We're talking about, sure, hits like radio. All right, s- s- since we on R&B, let's touch on R&B real quick. Um, go for it. So would you say, okay, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, who, name your, name your, Sam, name your top five um, R&B females. No order. Oh, females? Female, oh. just females. Shit. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I don't... Starting with your goat. Starting with your goat. Your R&B female uh, goat. You don't probably listen to that shit. Yeah, I don't... I mean, you gotta realize, that's a... You know, certain type of music is for, like, you know, certain type of people. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not yours, personally. I'm just saying in general. Who would you say I, in general? Like, honestly, I would have to look up a list and just pick. Let me see. Like, no joke. Like, but I probably know him, but I just don't know the time. Okay, 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 okay. Who do you Let think... Who do you think is the best female R&B artist? Well, I like the artist that I probably listen to the most is I like, you know, I like a, um, a Keisha Cole, but Keisha Cole ain't top five. I like Keisha Cole, though. Okay. Okay. All right, but if I'm picking, I mean, looking at this list, uh-huh. 
I mean, we could. I mean, we're probably gonna have to throw like a Aretha up there. We gonna have to throw a Whitney, of course. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'm in your generation. Oh, not, my not, generation. Oh, not, my generation not, is gonna be like not like all time like, 70, oh, 60, yeah, yeah. Okay, 80. My generation is gonna be probably the in order is gonna be Beyonce is probably number one. We could throw mm-hmm. maybe like a um, Rihanna number two. We're gonna throw like Alicia Keys probably number three. We might make. I mean, number four, probably like Mary or Jennifer Hudson or Fancy, somebody like that. But yeah, we already know Beyonce is number one. Like, no debate. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to give Mike you Mars. Mars. I'm going to give you Mars. Mary J. Blige is my GOAT R&B because that's, that's what I was playing in, in that, around that time. Okay. Faith Evans, number two. Monica, number three. Aaliyah, number four. Okay. Five would be, I'm going to go Alicia Keys because I like Alicia okay. over Rihanna and Beyonce. That's why I say that. But okay. I ain't mad at that. But, but Mary, that. Rihanna is garbage. Rihanna is a garbage. But we talking like, I mean, we talking. Okay, like what's, what's your what's yours? Uh, S. You, are we going personal? Or are we going? Yeah, I thought you, we were talking you, about like whatever you know, whatever you listen to, whatever you listen to. But don't don't say we going we'll do the the all time next. We you know don't throw Aretha in there with 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 a with a Beyonce. Don't do that. All right, my my personal Beyonce, of course, would be number one. I got Jill Scott number two. I got Erica Badu number three. I got Brandy number four. I got uh Monica number five. Brandy? Yeah, Brandy got Ray hit. sister? Bro, she can't sing. Bullshit. Brandy got hit. <laughs> you mean Ray J's sister? The yeah. fine Ray's girl sister? with the braids and the booty. Yeah, but she can't she can't sing, bro. I I I'm sitting in my room and I wanna be down. <laughs> no. I respect it though, man. Hold up, man. So you, but you I never Kate bought Evans, my nigga. I can't huh? name you five feet Evans song. Faith Evans, bro. She she was a shit in the night. You 90s, can't name bro. five eight feet Evans song without using Google. I like Faith Evans, but I wouldn't buy no Beyonce you record. Though. You can't name I, five songs. I ain't never well, I bought bet you no can name five Beyonce songs without you even trying. I never bought no Beyonce record ever. I ain't say you bought it, but I bet you could name some songs. I could name probably three. That's it. Uh, yeah, you could name about ten Beyonce songs. Yeah. And that's you know when that, she was in the group. It, that's you know that's that. when she was in the group. For the Destiny shot. I mean, it still count, though. Yeah. She was scary. She ain't the best, though, bro. Come on. She ain't the best of all time. Or nothing like that. Not singing-wise, but as far as, like, a career, she's the female yeah. Michael Jackson. Exactly. Exactly. Why is that? Exactly. Her impact is not her voice. What her impact? career is she basically because she married Jay Z. No, she was, she was big, big before, before she married Jay Z. <laughs> yeah. If you look at Michael Jackson's career, right? Beyonce basically did the same thing. She was in a group. She left. She did the movies. She got the dances. She got the world tour. She's the female Michael Jackson. Talk to him. Overrated as shit, but okay. Agreed. I agree. Overrated. I agree, but she's the female Michael Jackson. We all agree she's overrated. She gets yeah. a lot of love for no reason. She might be. I can't hate on her. She might be, but she overrated though. Exactly. She might be. I mean, I she really can't it. sing. Like, if you like, perfect example. Yeah. You watch Dream Girls, right? Jennifer Hudson outsung her the whole fucking movie. Exactly. But you still remember Beyonce. She's a bigger person. And, and sex appeal account for it too. True. Okay, R and B male. Who you got? Oh, I mean, you want my generation though too, right? Just want to make sure. Oh, whoever you like, it could be, it could be, it could be all time, whatever. I mean, it's probably easy for me to do. All right, let me think. So, top of the head, I'm gonna go with Usher up there. You know, we could throw Chris Brown. I was still a lot of Chris Brown. Throw R. Kelly up there too, because you know. This one I'm not really sure if we are we throwing Drake in the mix or are we not like what are we classifying him? You can. That's that it's a preference. I, will, thing. That, I mean can. it doesn't matter. Either way, I'm gonna throw the weekend is super underrated. At least when it comes to R and B, super fire. And then I'm gonna throw maybe like the dream or Neo. It don't really matter who the fifth is, but you know, one of them. Mm. All right, I'm gonna say Tyrese. Usher, um, Chris Brown. Um, oh, I forgot Bruno too. My bad. I forgot Bruno. Bruno's up there. He's not one of somebody I listen to, but he's well, definitely he, up there. He pop though. He ain't really R and B. He pop. I bet, bet, bet. 
I'm gonna say uh, Neo Dream kind of just throw hits out there every night. He like back to back with it. So I'm a, I'm gonna go with a bunt. I think a bunt is underrated. I'm gonna go with a bunt. You know, one thing crazy about the Dream though is Dream is a crazy ghostwriter, and he don't get enough credit for that. So most of the yeah, songs we do true. listen to, he be ghostwriting, and I mean he that's has true. a he, he makes good songs. I mean he has good albums, like his early stuff, but he he said he switched over more to uh, ghostwriting. So. You know who I used to like that fell off though? Life, man. I wish he oh, never Life fell Jimmy? off. Yeah. Fire. I remember when he first came out. Super fire. He, him and mm. I, I like John Legend too though. But Joey said y'all for getting Trey Song. Nah, nah, nah. Nobody gonna put Trey Songs in their list. Only females put Trey Songs in their list, bro. Yeah, Trey Songs might be up there for my generation 100 percent because girls go crazy over him. So he might be up okay. there for real. I'm, I'm go, saying, okay, go I'm ahead. Go ahead. Me, yeah, I'm 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 gonna go R. Kelly, Facts. Genuine, Tyree, Robin, Pick, and Joe. Okay, Joe. Okay. Why Genuine though? He he haven't been consistent in years. Why why Genuine? <laughs> so <laughs> anxious. <laughs> huh? He got so anxious. He got um the I'm in love song in the old jeans. Genuine got some shit, bro. The pr- uh yeah yeah. He genuine. got five the at pony. most. He the got five thing? at most. Yeah, he got five at most. Hell no. Nah. Genuine, he got more hits than Tyrese? No. Yes. Tyrese only famous because he chased Hold up. Hold on. You said, you said anxious in oh, those jeans. Differences. Ponies. Stangy. Mm-hmm. Genuine got more hits than Tyrese, bro. Okay, and we got... We got Tyrese. We got... uh. In love with a uh damn, what is it called? The little can- the zodiac sign shit. <laughs> Signs of love making. Yeah, you got that. I want to go there. <laughs> Joe, <you> got- <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> you got. I want to go there. You got um. None of your you- friends' business. Sweet lady, how you gonna act like that? Same old G. Come Man, on, that was every song though. I respect that. I don't know Tyrese. Tyrese my edge on though. Okay, do y'all you got Timberland on the beach? <laughs> y'all, do y'all got uh? Do y'all like um? Y'all didn't say John Legend. Y'all didn't say no, no. y'all didn't say um. Your boy, what's his name? Anthony Hamilton. What's up with that? Trash. Anthony Hamilton. Trash. Why do you he, say he, him then? He, he <laughs> said he's trash. Because I could, it was, I, me. It's, it's too many people to name in the top in a in a five in a list of five. I will give you that. Okay, just in case. Man, look, I forgot Cisco, low key. Whoa. <laughs> All right, no Sorry. lie, no lie. Cisco, cool. And he went diamond. Off of what? That one song, nigga. Don't go, don't He said, what? Hey, everybody know this shit. White people, black people, Mexican, old, young. I give you that one. I fuck with that one. Incomplete? What? That's the only song I like was Incomplete. That's it. Joey said Anthony Hamilton sound like he's singing Nick- Negro Spiritual. <laughs> Body bag. John Legend is not trash though. John Legend got some shit. He sang too slow for me too. Like I, uh, I need. Give like, me uh, the green, like girl. Nah, that was fire. I like that song. That song's fire. Y- y'all sleeping on Key Sweat though. Wake me up then. <laughs> nah, Key Sweat don't have enough classics. He ain't even up there with R. Kelly though. Yeah, it's like, not close. Song for song, he'll get. Nah, yes, now R. Kelly will body a lot of these y'all names song for song. Bro, R. Kelly got way more hits than uh Keith Sweat. R. Kelly might got the most hits out of the people we name. Like who's coming close? Who legit is coming close? Like, come on. Only person might be Usher. Uh, might it be. could be close. It could be close. It could be close. But we talking about like, yeah, it'll be close. It'll get it'll be close. I'll give you that one. It'll be close. Because you got to think, R. Kelly stopped making music as of what year? But even if we're talking, like, impact, like, ignition? And Come Usher on. kept going. Usher still ignition? got hit now. No, no, Usher, Usher be taking, like, a, a three full year break between the albums, bro. If we're keeping it real, you only remember Confession. Yeah. Like, name, I mean, Usher Confession is fire, but. You only yeah, remember I Confession. Body because even if we're yeah. talking, like, impact. No, like, go, you remember Papers, too. Give me some songs. Yeah, I don't remember papers. You gotta give me papers, some bro. Uh, that came off of um the same album. Um, 
There goes my baby. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. But that's one song. We that's talking a... about R. Kelly got what he got. He got the no. I'm saying I'm, that's that's uh R. Kelly got the whole twelve play album, my nigga. Yeah. About the certain papers. Papers. Nah, I, I'm not. I'm not jamming it. I don't go back and listen to it. I mean, but you telling me if you go to a, if you eat, all right, let's say right now you hosted a party. You telling me y'all ain't gonna play one. Y'all ain't gonna play the the bump and grind. Y'all ain't gonna play the ignition at least once. No ignition. No ignition. Step in the name of love. Yeah, no step in. The, yeah, come on. Come on. That was a fire. You ain't gonna play it though once, but you gonna tell me you gonna play Usher. Usher got some shit. I mean, it ain't close. Three of. Do R. Kelly? Okay, R. Kelly got what? Ignition. That's a club song, right? Right. Okay. It's a party song. I mean, and, you can and, see that. And okay, and Usher got making love in this club. Okay, ignition better. <laughs> <laughs> making love in this club. <laughs> nah, you remember that? I believe I could fly. You could play that. You know, at graduations and big things like that too. Though, got the I'm a flirt. Come on. All right, Raymond versus Raymond. All right, pull it up. Let me pull it up. Let's go. You got Monster. You got Daddy's Home. There Goes My Baby. That's fire. That's all no, you got. No, nobody Paper. beating R. Kelly, bro. Those are the three songs. And Lil Freak with Nicki Minaj. Those are the five singles that he had off the album alone. Are we really trying to compare Usher to R. Kelly right now? Are we you really can't. doing this? You can't. Like, because if we picking up albums, you can tell me every song in R. Kelly is... Come on. Here I stand. Moving mountains. Moving mountains. Hard to love too. 2016. What singles did he have off of that? I see this shit. He had no limit. Need you and missing you. Hold up, man. Hey, I'm not saying... I'm not saying he's better, bro. I'm not saying I'm saying Back. I'm not saying R. Kelly, I mean Usher is better. I never said that. I'm saying, look, if you pull you up R. Kelly, hit for hit. you can't. If you go R. Kelly discography, okay? Mm-hmm. You pull up his discography. Okay. Now. What year? The year if you go by year, what year did he did he, his last album came out? Let's see, I'm about to pull up his discography. I mean, wait. I, All right, here you go. All right. Let's see. You keep us. I'm going to pull up R. Kelly. You keep us. And you got to name stuff that was, like... His last oh, CD. But if we judge it on the artist that 2017. has seen, If we got artists that's close to R. Kelly... Nobody, nah, nobody don't know an album came out in 2017 by R. Kelly. That's true. That's true. That's true. The MC buffet in 2015, five years ago, nobody bought, nobody got that album. Yeah, I can't. Backyard Party was big. Backyard Party was a big song. But I'm just saying, like, I mean, noticeable R. Kelly song was "We Want to Go Back." 2013, Black Panties album. So, what's the argument, though? Are we talking about yeah, Usher is going to be more relevant than R. Kelly now. I mean, yeah, I give you that. I mean, people, yeah, people ain't gonna say they listen to R. Kelly now because everything else. Yeah, is. but if we talking about an artist that honestly does, does like R and B that could be close to R. Kelly, we talking hits. Last of relevant might be up there. The weekend, you might make a good case for the weekend. The weekend got a lot of singles, a lot of good singles. R. Kelly got more just because he been out a, longer than Usher alone. That's just like trying to compare Michael Jackson to to. To R. Kelly, you can't because Michael Jackson got more music overall. I'm saying, but the thing about Michael Jackson album is every damn song is fire. Every damn song is a hit, like every song. No, I didn't like that song. You give me butterflies. I didn't like that. All right, well, pull up, fire, Thriller, pull up Thriller for example, and tell me we got one to be starting something that's not fire. Yeah, baby, well. be mine. Fire. This that girl was. is mine. Fire, thriller. Come on, beat it. Billy Jean, Human Nature, P.Y. Like every song is is single material. I mean, it but, is like 
it was a team Michael had behind him as well, no, though. I it made the production fire, though. You know, of course, of course. But yeah. you telling me See, that, 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 that as to R. Kelly, R. Kelly do his own production and writing. That's true. That's true. If you got an artist that every you song... made the pre roll usher shit. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The night is the night that G Money got body bad. <laughs> I didn't Stay get body fire. at all. I didn't get body at all. It's all good, man. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> you got you made some good points though. I must say you made a lot of good points. Lost, but some good points. What did I lose on? Everything you said. <laughs> no, just... no, 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 no. No, we got L. Shout out to L. L. Now, is, Migos, um, L. Tune Migos, Migos, on Joey's the Twitch Migos. listening. Shout yeah, out Joey's to L. Migos angle was crazy fire. He was he, even if he was trolling or not, he made a good point though. Migos is up there at the end of the day. They're, yeah, I would say hey, in top ten. I don't know about top. It took up for him in the group. The group saying bone. Bone over Migos. What you yeah, post? The, the, the group saying bone over Migos. Hold I don't on, know man. if I could. Let me let me let I me in. Let me. If we're talking impact, yeah, but we're talking. I say I song mean, for song. Yeah, we talking song for song. It's not close. And there's a lot of artists that like that. We're like song for song. They wouldn't win. A lot of groups are like that. They wouldn't even win. But collectively, like it's crazy. They fire. Like Wu Tang don't got crazy like super singles like that either. Wu Tang's a great group, but right. if we talking singles, Migos might body bag them. Yeah, which sounds crazy to say. Three Six will probably body bag like a lot of groups would. Nah, because with, with, yeah, with, with Wu Tang, anything after the second album, Migos don't care. Yeah, yeah, but we talking about overall impact, discography, great. Great group, respected group. But I'm taking three six over Wu Tang any day. And that's just me, my preference. You be doing that cocaine sound? <laughs> <laughs> I listened to more three six growing up, man. I never really know Wu that. Cocaine Wu was kind of gimmicky syrup. to me. Wu was just gimmicky to me. Three six is I mean I listen like I told you, I listen to a lot of Project Pat, so of course I'm listening to three six. But most unknown, like most known unknowns whatever, fire. Most that's the whatever. that's the one with side to side? Yeah, 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 yeah. Super fire, super fire. They got the um, what's on that? The uh, gotta stay fly, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, fire. But I mean, I listen to them. I can name more songs off that than probably any Wu album. Don't mean Wu trash, just Wu's not my vibe. DJ, one of the greatest rebrands of all time. Agree, Joey. Agree. Susie J kind of had fell off after a point. He was just like a. Hell like a. He was just like a throw on feature artist that like, you know, you just get on like, you know, one song on an album. He doesn't really stand out. And Juicy J really like legit. I remember Juicy J was supposed to perform at my college and people were standing out line. They were standing in line going crazy a day before the man was even here. People were sitting up shop like they was camping out to see Juicy J. And I was mind blown. He was camping out to see Juicy J. This man really switched up. And wow, I'm going to have weekend. to do a live tonight. They really disrespecting Bone in here. Go for it. Go live. Let me see this nonsense. I'm, I'm about. Wow, they really disrespecting Bone. Nah, go live. Go for it. Nah, man. Come. The majority had Bone, bro. Nah, bro, but somebody, this, I ain't going to say his name, but somebody said, somebody said he got, uh, the only banger Bone Thugs got is the first of the month. Let's talk facts. Come on. Big facts. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> You now you you, you, you can't really bang crossroads like I'm not about to drive down a block bumping crossroad. Hey, he does got a point though. He does got first a point. of the month, bro. First of the month is not the only. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, name some more bangers that we all gonna know. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, I mean, like I just told you, the Wu don't got that many bangers either. But you can't tell me the Wu's not fire. You, you remember know? this song right here? Take me home with Phil Collins. Take me home. Nah, see that's the thing. I I really don't. No joke. came out in it came out in 07. I really don't. No joke. You remember Ghetto 07. Cowboy? 07 he'll listen to the chameleon now by that time, bro. Yeah, I know the chameleon that joint with whatever his name is. You heard, a ca- you heard a ghetto cowboy, right? Nah, go for it. See look, you gotta realize that you are I mean, let me put it like this. I'm a Cam fan, I'm a dipset fan, but I also gotta know that what I know as their songs and their hit songs mm-hmm. and all the like fan base right. knows, a regular person may not know. Like a regular person might know I really mean it. They gonna know the dipset anthem, but I can't expect them to know any more dipset songs after that. Like those are I'm they only gonna know the popular song. I mean what else, like what else can I say that a dips like somebody would know as like a dipset song? Like honestly. They gonna know like two, three songs. I can't expect oh, them to know everything. 
all right, I mean, I'll give you that one too, but what else? Like, I mean, I would think everything they got is bangers, but you might, you could throw balling in there too. The Jim Jones balling. After that is crickets. <laughs> but, but, okay, but that goes for Dipset though. Like, look, the average person that's not a Dipset fan, they not, they not, they don't know what, uh, really, I, I really mean it. They, they never heard that song before. All right. You and Joy I, say, they gonna Joy say Migos been on top so, of and the people care about bones. So, okay. so you, so it ain't about who been on top, bro. It's about they got more record. The debate is they have more than than first of the month. But look, okay, same thing for me. For, okay, look, okay, look. It's like this: if when Bone dropped 1997 Eternity, they was playing more than first of the month on the radio. They was playing Crossroads. First of the month and um, uh, like two other songs. Okay, now look, if you didn't buy the third album, because the first album was creeping on the come up. Okay, if you didn't buy the, the third album, album, okay, the second album. If you didn't buy, if you didn't buy the other album, um, the one with um, it's called the Art of War, Volume One and Volume Two. Okay, that's the song with Pac and Big was on there. I mean, Pac and um, Bone was on there. Okay, it's called Thug Love. So if you didn't buy that album, you wouldn't know about the rest of the stuff like Look Into My Eyes or Body Rot or Player Hating. You wouldn't know about those records because you, if you didn't hear the album. So same thing with Dipset. If a person mm-hmm. don't know about Dipset and they're and they not a Dipset fan and they all they listen to, let's say the radio, like you did, you listen to the radio and you heard first of the month, right? You didn't buy yeah, the yeah. album, right? So if a dipset, if if a person is not a dipset fan and they never heard like they all, know like, oh boy, that's all they probably know. yeah, they gonna know oh, oh boy and hey mom. They not gonna know shit like really mean it and um, what's the other record um right, on you, on you. the diplomat album? I really mean it and the other shit. What's the other oh, shit? The, the anthem, this anthem. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I agree. I I kind of agree with that. I agree with that. But I feel like certain groups are just so, like, I'm not saying Bones is like an obscure group, but they're kind of a group, at least to me and where I'm from, where we technically kind of forget about them. That's just me. Like, mm-hmm. we kind of forgot about them. Like, there's other groups we know about. We constantly yeah. are listening and we're trying to, you know, keep up with it. And to me, they just, they're a group that kind of, we don't, we don't really, you know, like, if we making a list, honestly, if we, like, yo, name five rap groups. Most people ain't even gonna even think of Bones. No disrespect to them. That's fact. I can't I say mean, that. We could, do a, we could do like a not even like a top ten. Like like legit, you just we on the street. We like, like let's say we in Times Square, we in New York. We just asking random people. Hey, can you name like five rap groups? And go, you got thirty seconds. I guarantee I, you they're gonna say Bone. I guarantee you they're gonna say Bone. But you a fan? That's what, that's the thing. You're a fan, so of course you're gonna say it. But. I'm not going to say it. I know S ain't going to say it. I don't think Joey's going to say it. I, I mean, if you ask me right now, I doubt I would say it. I'm not saying they want to be a top 10. Sure. They might be your name mm-hmm. 10 groups. Sure. Okay. Five. All right. I'm going to make a post about that and see. we're going to see what the, um, what the, what the, what the, what yeah, the, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Be like, yo, name five groups or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, bone five. now because I made that post though. Uh-uh. Not, nah, but not, nah, no, legit. Just be like, name your top five, like, rap groups or something like that and i'm telling you you're gonna get a whole lot of the big artists like even artists we don't listen to, you're gonna get a whole lot of wu-tang you honestly you might get some migos in there too to be real with you you get some migos some outcasts some yeah you can get a lot of outcasts outcasts as you know fan favorite Tribe. hold on yeah, a lot of tribe okay let me ask you about the duo would y'all put the big timers as a duo in there if we doing yeah. that i like the big timers but they not Oh, that's I don't For know. The you, South, I of like the big timers. You want to put them as top five, like up there with UGK mm. and, and Outkast, though? Nah, I will put Manny Fresh up there. <laughs> huh? They got some Baby fire, the rap, bro. They got some fire. They do, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the way we viewed them. Because I feel like if we actually went back right now, let's sit there. He has some like, bars on number one stuff. Yeah. I'll sleep. Nah, nah. If we, I legit think if we went back right now and we just we. We legit listen to a bunch of duos in a day. We might be like, yo, Big Timers is up there. But I feel like when we listening to, like, when we thinking of artists, we thinking about the whoa, impact they had. We thinking whoa, about how big they were. Hey. Ball mm. my hobby. Yeah, Big Timers might be a top ten. I don't know about five. What about T.R.U.? 
That wasn't a duo. That's a group. I mean, group. You put them in the group? Hell yeah. Two wins. Top what? They can make top 10. Top 10 groups? Yeah. Yeah, to me, I mean, as long as you can make a good argument, I'm never mad at wherever you put up. Mm. If you got a good argument for, like, being top five, I'm cool with it. If you got a good mm. argument for top ten, I'm cool with it. I don't care where you rank them, but as long as they got, you know, the body of work, mm-hmm. following all that, I'm cool with it. Mm. Yeah, that's how I feel about Rick Ross, bro. I'm, I just never could get into Rick Ross, you know. But a person, you know, like, a person no that's joke, from, like, from, I, from Florida, they... Biggest, they gonna bump yeah. Rick Ross all day, exactly. but I guarantee you. I mean, back in the day, though, people would tell you Trick was that dude. Oh no, no, no! I agree because yeah, all my older brothers are always, you know, they big on Luke, they big on Trick, you know, they they was big on. I mean, I even had a brother that was really big on Plies. He thought Plies was gonna blow higher than Rick Ross, and Plies had some a lot of heat at first. But when we, I'm being, I mean, look, like okay, like like if you look at Trick songs, okay, like BMF, I like I like that song. I like Dice Pineapples. That was a nice, that was a high song. Uh, you the Boss, that was fire. Um, Hustling and Astro Martin Music. That, fire. That's five. That's five. Now, the rest of them, like Sorry, Idols Become Rivals, okay. Devil Was Alive, Box Chevy, Nobody's Favorite, Thug uh, Cry, Here I Am. Those, I don't really, I'm not, you know, push it. I'm not. Don't not I push it that. this hard. You I like tripping. push it. I like the um, Port of Miami though. I got I'm. I might be biased to Port of Miami. I like nah, Port of Miami is fire. When I when That's the classic. Port of Miami was coming out, I remember DJ Khaled was. I mean, back then he was still a local DJ. He was mm-hmm. on the radio all the time, hyping it up. Mm-hmm. That album is special. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell mm-hmm. me Port of Miami not fire to somebody uh, that was there. But is it is it better than Trick debut album though? Hell yeah. I mean, if I, you got, but you got to realize it like this though. I'm comparing an album that I lived through versus an album that I'm going back and I'm listening to. I was there. I remember the all the the radio hype. I remember all the like you know signs around my like my neighbor. Like, is oh, different. so you didn't listen to based on the true story by Trick then? Nah, and if okay. I did, I was so okay. young that if I compare it right now, I would have to go back and listen to it. So I'm comparing okay. like, a regular album essentially versus you know an album that. I, I grew up with, you know, and that's okay. not really fair. So obviously, okay. I'm gonna pick Port of Miami. But I, well, I you probably need to go back and listen to, nah, trick listen to it. based on the true story. To everything y'all say, I listen. Thug but niggas don't live that long. I be a player. Those are the singles that he had on there. Nah, this snowing, is all I'm saying, though, snowing in Miami. This all I gotta say about Rick Ross, though. Like, and this is try to be as unbiased as I can be. I'm gonna say I think he. If we're talking about just discography. All mm-hmm. his albums combined, all his mm-hmm. singles, all that. Mm-hmm. You can make a good case that Rick Ross, even, I mean, for right now, I'd say he's a top 10 artist, like rapper. Mm-hmm. But I think you can probably make a pretty good case that albums, he's a top 10 artist, like, all the time. And it might be a stretch. But if you look at, if we're talking about singles and albums, like, albums together, Okay, okay, okay. What out? Al- what trick album have you listened to? Shit, I wouldn't even know. I would have to go back to tell you. But I mean, I haven't listened to a trick album in forever. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I know he got the Thug one, right? Thug Holiday. Because I'm a Thug, thug Matrimony. Thugs are us. Yeah, I'm a, thugs that, are that was a, that was a Thugs are us. That was 2001. But he had yeah. Thug Holiday 2002. Thug Matrimony 2004. Hey, but you gotta realize how young I was when these came out too, though. Like, okay, I'm, I'm All right. 97. Well, so- so, so these okay. are coming out when I'm what four or five. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, I'm, I mean, right. I can listen to the album. I'm not so let's nah. It. So okay, that's so that's a bad comparison with you then. So let's just say, okay, better resume, Ti or Rick Ross. Ooh, that was good. That one is a good. Uh, all right. Cause to I'm me personally, I would I'm give. I'm here. serious. I'm serious. Is a better album than Port of Miami to me personally. No, 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 no. I no, think no, I'm no, legit. No. Think, cause dope boys again, in the like trap alone three zero. But it's different when you like like same I, I concept. Same concept. Dope boys in the trap. Every day I'm hustling. Same concept. Same first single. Yeah, Which I one better? Different when he dropped. I agree. Ti had a lot. I... Dope boys in the trap. Come on, bro. But I think. I don't know. We kind of. I don't know. I'm an STI. I'm an STI now. I'm an edging. 
I'm an STI. See, I had like a whole little movement with him. So yeah. Urban legend. Yeah, yeah urban I'm legend, right. fire, the king. I remember trap, that. Trap music. I, that. I had that bootleg. <laughs> TI versus TIP. The king. Paper trail. Paperwork. Dime trap. All right, all right, all right. So give yeah, me another artist prayers, that's bro. close. Give me another artist that's close to like Rick Ross on that level though. Jeezy. Like, Jeezy. No. Mm-mm. I don't see it. I don't Thug see it. motivation one. I think Jeezy only like no disrespect is Jeezy. He only has one two two good albums. He has one oh one and he has recession. Everything else is garbage. The who? He got the Thug Motivation and he has recession. See, I, I just like one oh one and one oh two. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't even like recession. You didn't like um you didn't like you didn't like the inspiration? That's one oh two. Yeah, that's 102. Okay. You so you didn't like uh 103? No, garbage. Garbage. It was so overrated. Mm. And that's and that's what I mean. Like when I'm talking about going back and looking at artists. What about the autobiography? The one with the little Illuminati sign on the cover. The little dollar Not sign. A on the cover. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm like just saying one? when I'm going back and I'm looking at artists and I'm trying to compare at least modern artists to Rick Ross is it's, it's really hard to find artists that have a discography that's close to him. And it's, it's going to be hard for you to find somebody else. Besides, What about Luda? 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 Mm-hmm. You got to put Luda up there, bro. Nah, you can't do the Luda, Luda like that. Luda got classics, but I think part of Luda is just, he just comes off as corny. And I know it's not his fault. It's just something corny about him. Comical. At least to me. Yeah. To me, to me but to but me. they still hit, though. Nah, agree, agree, agree. But I mean, how many albums Luda got? The the chicken was fire. He got chicken and beer. People can't get through a whole Ludacris album, though. Let's exactly. just be real. Exactly. Exactly. Be real about it. I saying, love Luda. The first one you can. Yes, you can. Back for the people, first time. You didn't listen people to the whole listen to album. A, no, I'm saying, but people in general don't listen to a whole Ludacris album. That that's always been the thing with Luda. Well, I, word of mouth, I could get through word of mouth, back for the first time, and Ludaversal, the one he dropped in 2015. Hey, I like I those. Mean, but you're right. You're right. Chicken and Beer and the Red Light District. Red Light District was trash. And, re- and Relapse Therapy. <laughs> the one with War with Relief God on there. Fire. That was therapy fire. fire. Yeah, the Red Light District was trash. Chicken and Beer was trash to me, too. I agree. So you might be right. You might Rick Ross might have edged a little bit, but I, I don't and know. What about, the oh, theater of the mind, fire, two thousand eight. To the future. <laughs> fire. Yeah, that was like a damn mixtape. Hold up, Golden Grind, Golden Grain. Golden Grain. Yeah, that's a group album, but nah. Yeah, that's 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 Golden Grain. Okay. Is there any artist y'all think that's Maybe from like an older era that at least has some type of Luda underrated, history. bro. He 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 he's up there with punchline. What the question Luda was? Luda is huh? not underrated. He's very properly rated. <laughs> what what, what, what your question is, Sam? Repeat the question, man. Oh, all right. So, if we talking about like artists with like good discography, who comes to mind like all the time? Like just like a single artist, not like a group. Don't count no group stuff. Just like one that has like Ma- crazy albums. Master P. Hello, Cool J. Master P. Okay. okay, good stuff. Master P. Good choice. And be a mix, low key. Hmm. We, what y'all think about Kanye? We never really had this combo. I know we. some of us listen up early in our top five. What's the general consensus on Kanye? What y'all think about Kanye? All Kanye, never, Kanye never made a bad album to me. It's just uh, the whole ghostwriting thing. Okay. So that takes yeah. away from Kanye, you think? Yeah. In my in my book, it does. All right. So for you, I guess your top artist has to be an artist that is writing all their whole, like, you know, writing, producing, all that themselves, or you don't care about the produ- like the production as long as they write most of it or all of it? Or... If, if, they're, if they're truthful with it, I can accept it. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Because, I mean, I feel like, you know how, like, when, when we listen to battle rap, we know, for example, like, you know, we know K-Shine and DNA together, and we know 
every now and then, you know, they write in bars for each other. They giving each other bars and I'm cool with that. As long as you don't sound exactly like that person, I'm fine with that. You're right. So same thing with like, if I'm in the studio, you're not going to be in the studio solo. Most likely you're going to have your boy there. He's going to tell you, oh no, do this line like that. Let me, you know. So I respect that. Right. Mm. But when you got the whole song, like that's when I got issues with like the whole album's like, nah. It's crazy. I'm excited for G to go live. I'm ready to talk my shit. <laughs> Be wild now. I'm going to have a lit. Because I'm going to actually play the records. I'm going to play the bone records that you that you sleep on. It's Look, it's not I'm sleeping on. I got nothing but respect for bone. I'm their top group. I'm going to refresh your person. mind. Because you heard them through the years. You probably just don't remember them. Hey, you might be 100% right. They're just a group I don't listen to. There's so many groups I don't listen to. I couldn't tell you too many NWA songs. Like, I was telling you, I don't listen to none. I couldn't tell you too many Tupac songs. I, I couldn't tell you. Like, I'm not saying I didn't listen to Tupac growing up, but I, I couldn't tell you. Now, if a song came on, I'd be like, yeah. I mean, you know what? That's That's probably true with a lot of pop fans because the average pop fan... Or the average, the average people that say pocket trash, they only go off the singles they heard on the radio. They can't exactly. tell me a song that's on the on his album "Me Against the World." I couldn't, you know, I, like I could, fuck, it could be like, a gun in my head, and I couldn't tell you one pocket yeah, song like, that was on the album that wasn't yeah. a single. But Pac just never was appealing to me. There's nothing appealing, and even at my current age, there's nothing. When I open my Spotify, when I open my Apple Music, I don't have an urge to type in Tupac. I'm like, all right, cool. Let me continue listening to what I want. Let me go listen to this artist. Pac's never, you know, been an inspiration. But in the same breath, Jay-Z, I've been inspired. To, all right, let me go listen to some Jay-Z. And the only and, reason that I say that Jay-Z is not the GOAT when you ask me about Jay-Z and all that, because personally, I think DMX is overall better than Jay-Z. DMX catalog and resume of album alone is better than Jay-Z catalog. Okay. Now, I listen to, I listen to some DMX, though. I give you that one. DMX is fire. X is underrated. People don't give DMX. DMX had a style that nobody brought to the game. Yeah, alone. I could go back. And that's nobody thing. ever done what DMX did in the history of hip hop. Artist, yeah, artist has to be accessible for me, for me to like want to go listen. To Who like, prays on records, bro? Who give you a prayer on records and then give you a song right after it? Who talks about the devil, Damien, and give you a whole storyline of the devil in the third person point of view? Come on, man. Nobody. Don't, nobody don't do that. DMX fire. But you know, most people gonna put the Pac, you know, the Pac, Nas, Big, Jay-Z. That's your typical list on an everyday average. That's what they gonna give you. But I feel they, like, they, I, I they, just don't understand because everybody says that, but when you go back and like what separates those artists so much, like, I, I just don't get it. It just seems like... Like, to me, Biggie is rap. overrated. I, I don't say yeah. that numerous. Biggie exactly. is overrated. You know? Like, that's when just it's me. rap, a lot, of, a lot of people, they just like... They just go for the generic response. They don't want to, you know, delve in and be like, oh, I like this artist. A like, lot. if Biggie got two albums, how can he be a GOAT? You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't make no sense. And then and then somebody want to say, well, if he was still alive, he would still be consistent and keep up with the game and he'll have eight albums like Jay-Z. No, you can't say that. You can't say that. You don't know if Jay-Z could have, I mean, Biggie could have ended up being like a Jada Kiss, like coming out with an album, flop. Come out with an album flop because that's how J, J, Jada Kid's album basically does. It, it's not good enough for you know what I'm saying he don't put out the, the music consistent enough for the radio or whatever. You know I don't know. I mean he put street music out. That's what Biggie did. But still, you can't say he would have sold platinum records each album. Biggie would have went platinum. You can't say that. Yeah, I don't think it's fair. I mean that's one of the biggest things. As soon as an artist dies, they automatically. No, a legend, an uh, artist is automatically blown up. As but we know, you know Pac would have sold. We know Pac would have sold, regardless, because he would have made songs for the ladies. He would have made songs for this, for that, for that. Pac knew how to make records to address all audience. Biggie didn't really. I I can't really accept the argument that Biggie's top five. I don't know. I think you gotta. I think they're like when we making these lists. You gotta have a certain amount of albums at least, because. If you have like three or four albums, I think all right, cool. You might be able to defend yourself. If you got one album, like anybody can have one good album. There's a lot of artists that have one good albums. 
one right. two good albums. Like, but right. if you're like, progressing, you like, know, you got like three four albums, and you know maybe they were spread out or whatever. Cool, you in the combo. Man. Show me the just record like, sales after that. Just, show me the impact. Show me the growth. Show me you getting better each album. Show me all that. Everybody first album when they got a unique sound is gonna sell. It's gonna be different. Damn, I forgot fire. to put Lauren Hill in my top five R and B earlier, man. Damn, I'm tripping. Lauren Hill gotta go in there. I gotta take Back. Alicia out. I gotta put Lauren Hill over Alicia. I'm sorry. Good good list, hundred percent. Yeah. Off one album, my nigga. Hmm? You put Lauren Hill in there for one album? Nah, just her talent, man. Just her talent. It ain't I don't it, just her talent, bro. She and she don't she can rap and sing like no other really can do. Okay, I'm gonna name two artists that nobody really that kind of fell fell off. Give me your opinion on them. First one is um Mr. Cheeks and Petey Pablo. What y'all think of them? Petey Pablo died. <laughs> Petey Pablo went to jail, man. But I don't know if you can necessarily see it. I mean, who I, would you I, compare I, his music? Who, who would you compare him to now as far as like when he came out with Freaker League and, and the helicopter song or whatever versus now he was making hit to hit. But do you think he would have never fell off and he would have kept, you know, if he never go through that or whatever? Do you think he could have? Why he ain't bounced back yet? He's been out like feel, a year and I, a half. It's hard to tell, though. With certain genres, it's really hard to tell because it's all... I mean, rap is big on being pushed by labels, really. Like, you can be the best artist, and if you're not getting that push, it... Other genres, it's not like that. Like, I feel like when I listen to other type of rap or other type of music, it doesn't necessarily matter how much you're getting pushed. If you fire, you fire. And he was signed to Universal. Be... He was on Universal. No, he was on Jive. Jive, Jive, that's what it was. Jive, Jive Records no longer exists. Hmm. What about Mr. Cheeks? How he fall off? I wouldn't say Never Mr. Cheeks fell off though. Last song he had with the jump off with Lil Kim, right? That was a Lil Kim song, but I wouldn't see Mr. Cheeks is a legend from Lost Boys, so you can't necessarily say he fell off. No, I mean as solo, as a solo. Maybe you just found something else like take Petey Pablo. You say Petey Pablo fell off. But P.B. Pablo was writing for Empire, so technically he didn't fall off. He okay. just went to do some other shit. Okay. Oh, okay. That's like saying, that's like saying Chameleon that fell off. Right? Yeah, Chameleon that didn't fall off. Chameleon that just did another venture. Agreed. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like he went, made $300 I mean, yeah. million dollars with and a look. That's kind of what you want to see. That's, you kind of want to see growth in artists. Like, you got your foot in the door, now do something else, I guess. Every right, what, about, is not... what about Lil Flip? Lil Flip ain't fall off either. Where the albums at? Major, they, though. Major, major, major. You can't say major because major record, major record labels really don't exist no more. Hey, I mean, by your logic, then Soulja Boy had fell off when Soulja Boy was doing all his small little mixtapes. Soulja Boy was doing good numbers. He had a nice loyal fan base. He wasn't really in the media, but Soulja yeah. Boy was doing Soulja Boy is trash. Exactly. Like, but listen, and, listen, listen, listen. Soldier Boy signed to a big label, got this big push. Soldier Boy's doing all his interviews and stuff. Soldier Boy's back in the like media. He's he, he's doing him. You know, he didn't fall off anymore. I wouldn't say he had fell off even when he was doing his. He had his loyal fan base. But why yeah, is boy. it? But why Once you is get it? a fan base? You don't need a major label no more. Like you could go independent yeah, exactly. and you'll be good. Exactly. And get more he was money. Independent. Yep. He was independent mm. the whole time. He said, "Yo, I want to be back in the spotlight." He signed to a big label. Got the big push, doing crazy interviews, back in the spotlight. So it's all about the label, really. But why is it that, like, when these artists is signed and they put out one single, like Designer, he put out Panda. Lil okay. Nas X, he put out uh, Old Country, Road. Old Town Road. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. M- M- Mims put out... Um, um, that shit was trash, by the way. This Just is why I'm hot. Too. That this shit is trash, by the this way. Is, yeah. And Lil Nas X don't fall in that category. Daquan put out uh, Tipsy and Hood Hop. Never heard it from him again. Fire. Chinky. Yeah. Chinky put out um, Right There. Holla, Fire. all that. Never never Chinky heard from Chinky again. Yeah, Chinky had like three hit albums, bro. He had the, um, yeah, Chinky had the, Chinky had the. Okay, I'm going to go back to the one-hit wonders. I'm going to go back to the one-hit wonders. 
Mims. This is why I'm hot. Panda. Panda. Same thing with Mills. Mills made an app and blew up. He found another way to get money. So what happened to Panda? Designer. The I mean, designer was in high school, though, bro. You gotta, you, you gotta look at the whole picture. He was in high school. He still was in high school when he made that song. Yeah, and designer used that to get. He, he used that on the um. He was in the Kanye thing. In the Kanye album, right from that. Okay, but why him. they not? Why they not following up though? What's Did the you really think Design is a rapper? You really think Design is a rapper? Come on now. Design on the blue up could people thought with future. If we being honest. Yeah. Come on, Designer is not. Come on now. Design is not a rapper. I'm not saying you don't got talent, but come on now. Man, it's something if you, wrong, if you pick, man. If you can pick a good one-hit wonder that has talent, then we could have a good combo. But, I mean, there's a lot of one-hit wonders that just didn't necessarily have talent. They had that one sound. They were only good for one song. Like You could push yeah, anybody to have. You could push anybody. I mean, if Con- he signed to Kanye, he's trying to get out of the label. Good music. But, I mean... If they want to buy his album, Panda. no, I wouldn't. No, he's trash to me. Okay, you just answer your own question. <laughs> yeah, but they they still can they still could push him though. He still he still. No, that's I'm not. Music. No, it's a tax write off. I'm gonna make some money off you because you got this hot single. Then that's it. I'm gonna exactly. You all. That's crazy. Like I'm gonna use you, give you some upfront money, and that's it. He probably don't even own the publishing of Panda. That song did stupid numbers on um, SoundCloud. You got like a label, like since records not selling like they used to, the label got to make up money any way they can. You know, I'm gonna get you in the 360 deal. Mm-hmm. Perfect example. Look at Megan Thee Stallion. I gotta get that money out, you. I gotta recoup. Now, like, would you say she's fire or would you say she's garbage? I mean, Man, I don't, I don't, I can't listen to a uh, Megan Thee Stallion song. You like Megan Thee Stallion? Garbage. Oh my god. She's not for me. She she yeah, gave it like, to our fan base. That's the best way I can. Yeah, I can't I can't though. listen. I, I can't I can't listen to uh, a female that downgrade that downgrade men to sell records. I can't do that. I mean, I can't listen to most of the female rap right now. Like, I mean, uh, not the vibe. If you're not Cardi's Eve okay. or Missy, I'm not. Li- Cardi's okay though. Cardi not all that, but Cardi Cardi's bearable. I listened to her last album. It was bearable. Yeah, but, she but then again, Cardi, got a, Cardi makes singles. So even if I don't like the song, I'm gonna like the song eventually when I'm at the club, when I'm at a party. They gonna play some Cardi, uh-huh. so they gonna be like, "All right, whatever. It's all right. It's it's bearable." Uh-huh. Megan, nah, definitely not. I think Missy is trash. Missy's okay, I guess. Missy is okay. I think she overrated. I mean, I'm not taking her ghostwriting abilities. Away, that that I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about solo song. What you think? Missy Missy's hit, all right. Man. You tripping? Missy's all right. Missy is all right. She got hits. Missy she got, got hits. hits. For days. She got hits, but she fell off after the cookbook. Again, she didn't fall off. Your your definition of fall off is like it's fucked up. Yeah, give give us your definition so we could so we could name some. She her last album she just put right, out wait, last wait. year it flopped, bro. It flopped. Well, me, it didn't me, do let numbers. Me, let me ask you this one. She didn't put an album out. Yes, yeah, she did. She has an album out. She dropped last year. No. All right, wait, wait, wait. Let me album. ask you a question. Let me single. ask you a question then. I got a question for you, G. And I just wanna maybe this will help. All right. We got Wiz Khalifa. Did he fall off? Did he fall off? Yeah. Yes. All right, see I, I agree with that. Now what about like somebody like Lil Wayne? Wiz got a TV show. I ain't bro, what do that. music and TV rap. got to do with each other? Yeah, I said music. We talking music, bro. Yeah, rap, I don't rap, care bro. what they do on the yeah, side. Find, all right, hold on. All right, all right let, I'm putting it like this to y'all. Will Smith. Did Will Smith fall off? As a rapper? Yes. Musically? Or did, he yes. move on, or did he move on to something better? That's a that's a hard that's that that was not a fair comparison though. You know what you're doing on that. that no, that, that that is a fair comparison. <laughs> if I found something better, one. if I same thing with comedian though. Know, should I rap for pennies or should right, I make right, this? Right. this I, I, I get that one. I get that. I get that. <laughs> all right. So Wiz says Wiz has a TV. This nigga loves off. bringing up comedian now. Comedian <laughs> Com- is the the best example though. <laughs> all right. So Wiz Wiz didn't fall off though. Ain't nobody checking for comedian there. <laughs> Come in now, not checking for y'all. Bang, bang, bang. All right, I can use another example, right? You want me to use another one? 
did Ludacris fall off, or did he just find something better? I mean, Ludacris fell off musically before he got into all the hosting and all the shows and all that. He legit fell off, yeah. I would say he fell off before he got into all that stuff, yeah. Ice Cube, did Ice Cube fall off, or did he just find something better to uh, do? Same concept. Ice Cube also fell off at first, and then, you know, he found his own lane. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, finding your own lane and getting money. Never, we should never hate on that, but we're talking musically. Musically, he fell off. He legit fell off. Lil Wayne fell off. There's no debate. Lil Wayne is, you know, you can say he a legend, whatever. You, Lil Wayne fell off. His last album. Okay, that, 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 that's the best way to put it. See, I, was, I can see Lil Wayne fell off because he's not doing nothing else. Music is still his main oh, focus. Oh, okay, okay. I can see that. All right, I can see that. See that? Ice Cube, like Ice Cube, Ludacris music is no longer their main focus, so I can't necessarily say you fell off. Chinky fell off. He's not doing nothing. Ah, uh, okay. Chinky fell off. Hits or no hit. He fell Chingy, off, bro. Man. Nobody checking for Chinky. 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 Yeah, it's Chinky. Chinky, Chinky, Chinky. Nelly Chingy. fell off. If Nelly drop an album right now, he's going to Nelly did not fall off. The Nelly didn't fall off. This Nelly didn't fall off. All this stuff. Nelly's yeah. on, Nelly was just on first take. Come on now. He was Nelly on first take, and he was also on Twitter years ago asking people to pay his taxes. Nelly, Nelly owned the Hornets, bro. Part of the Hornets. So why Nelly was he? Hornets. Why did he owe the IRS? The same reason. Why did he owe the IRS? They go bankrupt all the time. Come on. Now. Why was his fans trying to pay his debt? The same reason. Well, me with the old IRS. Donald Trump owed the IRS. We not doing that. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, man. A lot Y'all of people, be people just because they have other careers doesn't mean they e- they relevant. They, they, musically. Musically, they fell off, bro. Ludacris, no, no. last album was 2015. Still relevant. Fell off. Ludacris making Fast and the Furious. Come okay, on, Jaquan. Jaquan fell off. Fell off, fell off, fell off, fell off, fell off. Facts. Tipsy. Tipsy fell off. I wouldn't say Jaquan fell off. He was never on. Like, that's a one-hit wonder. No, he had Hood Hop. Still the same album. So I wouldn't say he was never on. Like, I'm going to tell you somebody who fell off. Let me think. Somebody who fell off. So I can put it in for second. Juvenile. <laughs> yeah, Juvie. Yeah, you off, can say Juvie. But... I'll say Juvie. You can Juvie say yeah, Juvie. Juvie's so underrated. He should have been such a big Mr. artist. One. Mike Jones. Mike Jones fell off. Slim Mike Thug. Jones. I don't oh. know about that because Mike Jones is doing real estate, though. Same thing, though. With Chameleon there. He does real estate. Get Mike Jones trash ass out of here. Mike Jones is fire. Y'all is sleeping. Trash, bro. I Mike couldn't Jones stand their music is... when they came out. Paul Mike Wall, Jones was trash. Fire. You never liked Mike Jones? Who? Paul Wall, Who? trash. Who? Come on now. Let me see your grill. That's the last thing y'all you remember. Your what? Yeah, yeah. That's fire. What else? What what Sit. Sitting sideways. That's what y'all like. Sitting sideways. Paul Wall was straight. Like, like he was amazing, but he was all right. Like ain't no reason to hate on Paul Wall. Nah, like, there's way worse niggas out there than Paul Wall. Crazy. Slim Thug garbage, man. <laughs> Paul Wall made so much money off them damn girls, boy. Slim he started thug. a wave. He started I'm a wave. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Who started that? I'm the boss. Rick Ross or Slim Thug? Slim, Slim thug. thug. Uh, okay. I thought Rick Ross did. The now they came out. They came. Know. They came out around the same time, though. Oh, right. No, oh, Slim, Slim came out like way before. I think Slim, Slim Thug blew, blew up above, later because Slim Thug. Yeah, Slim Thug. Like Rick Ross out. was underground. Rick Ross was on um Trick Daddy album. But no, Slim Thug first underground CD name was the Boss. Like, uh, okay, so he so he owned that throne. Then he 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 started that slogan. So yeah, Rick Ross his, took rec- it. his record label was Boss Hog Outlaws. Like, yeah, Rick Ross just took that shit. Oh wow, dang! And Slug ain't have no problem with that. He ain't never check him for that. They got into it about it, but Slum say he should have copyrighted. I mean, he ain't own the word "boss." Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> he said he should have copyrighted it. You know, he ain't copyrighted. Oh, uh, okay. Make it a world boss, nigga. Uh, vibes cartel. Yeah, but ain't nobody ever. No, no, no. Ain't nobody else saying they the king of the south when after Ti said it. A lot of people have said it. Because that's his slogan, you know? Starlito said it. Mm. 
But, but like, who, who wants y'all to y'all be the king of the south little, anymore? Shorty, a little body. Nobody <laughs> cares about that shit. No, bro. He he got body. What you mean? Shorty, low body. Ti, come on now. No, and T-Lot? on, on what's up? What, what on what's up? What happening? No. You remember he, went, he went to T-Lot. Bowen Homes to Charlie Low Projects and shot a no, video on his hood. He was, he was at the here. front of Bowen Homes. Come on, he yes. wasn't in the actual hood. He was at the front. Bro. He got cops. Shawty Low shot that's a video on top heard. of his man nightclub, bro. Yeah, that's what come you on, heard, bro. Shawty Low shot the front a of video. Homes. He wasn't in Bowen Homes. He had cops. Nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> Shawty Low three up, man. Come on. Where's the he can't rap though. He ain't got a rap. Shawty Low paid them people to get on camera, man. Say all that. Don't believe the hype. Shorty Low is more respected. Shorty Low got videos with Gucci back when Gucci just just dropped it. Who Gucci is trash, man. Nobody don't listen to Gucci. But Gucci's oh, respected man. is the point. See, I wasn't respected. Like Over who? He don't get no respect more than Jeezy. He don't. Why do we talk about who respect what? these niggas? We ain't never gonna know these niggas. Fuck them, man. They respect. <laughs> Gucci caught the body, man. Beat your hard boy up. I bet he ain't saying shit. Exactly. Cassidy caught the body in the same situation. Stay strapped. Stay strapped. But we don't respect Cassidy, though. Because Cassidy trash. Cassidy caught a body in the same situation as Gucci. Gucci's one of the goats. He and no what? Goat. Lemonade? No, Come he's on, not a goat. Icy? Bro, that's commercial. What? The, what you, no. So Lemonade better than I put on for my city? I put on for my city. Get out of here. Get out of here. I mean, I put on for my city. I ain't gonna go there. Put on go for my right city. Here. I did. My president is black. Like, come I on, kept bro. That shit. But come, uh, on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, Jeezy got way more like powerful records than Gucci does. Like, <laughs> talk. Yeah, and then I didn't got know. a million fucking songs. Yeah, Gucci got a lot of mixtapes. Gucci has a lot of like songs, and none of them better than Trap or Die. I think he might be like he might be like an artist like the top five most mixtapes because he has a lot, a lot of mixtapes. Over who? No, not like quality. I'm talking about like number wise. Like he has a lot of number like like, that, like yeah, like it's insane of how much music this man has out. Yeah, he's dropped <laughs> so many mixtapes. Like he's up there when it says like how many artists drop. Not yeah, somebody. Many, not, Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. He got more he got more than Wayne? Probably. He might be up there though. Like I'm not sure who has more. Nah, I doubt it. I don't know. Wayne might edge them. Why my Wayne might yeah, edge quality, them. Quality, you gotta think though, like a lot no, of the no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about numbers. I, I ain't I ain't talking about yeah. quality. I'm talking about the nah, number of Gucci may mixtape. have seventy two mixtapes. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And a lot of those Wayne shits are fucking bootlegs that people just like put together off LimeWire and shit. Okay, are we yeah. counting the squad up mixtapes too? Yeah. Not really. It says Lil Wayne has exactly. 20. You gotta Wayne, count the Lil squad Wayne. up mixtapes. Lil Wayne Why? has 20. Gucci has 72 mixtapes. I told y'all, like, Gucci has an insane amount of music out. And it's not like, it's not even really worth debating because, like, I wouldn't listen to all that shit even if I could. Yeah. <laughs> Lil B got a lot of mixtapes too. Lil B has a lot. Lil B used to drop one a day. Like, Lil B has a lot of mixtapes. That man, legit, was dropping, like, 250 songs in a week. So. Yeah, hey, but, like, he wasn't even trying to, like, rhyme at one point. He I mean, just, like... you, I, I agree, but we talking numbers. Like, he, he has thousands of songs. I know he play around, but damn. Cassidy fell off. That's another rapper that fell off. Cassidy. Charles Hamilton. Cassidy never stuff. really knew how to make music. Yeah, I, I learned that after a while. Beanie Siegel fell off. Beanie went to jail, man. Don't and got that. shot up and all that shit. Leave Beanie okay, alone. but after 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 the becoming, he dropped a solution in two thousand and seven. Flop. You you ain't taking the, the whole circumstances into play, bro. <laughs> okay, freeway I mean, I can fell off. That. Yeah, you what? Right. Freeway fell off. Beanie, no excuse. Freeway was sick. Things didn't really embrace no. Freeway like they should have. No excuses. Freeway fell off. They just really didn't. Niggas, they know what to do with Freeway. Like, everybody felt for what we do, but, like, niggas really didn't know, like, where do you play this shit? Like, Freeway was like, the air Freeway came out, it wasn't nobody else like it. DMX fell off. Maybe the no. drugs, but he fell off. No. Yeah, DMX 
off hard. Then Mexico's supposed to be top five today, but he not because and, he and, off. And, and I said this before in one of the posts. I said if the drugs never got if DM if DMX never got on drugs, I think X would have surpassed Jay Z as far as resume, yeah. album resumes, singles, all that. He would have surpassed Jay Z if the drugs Jay-Z, never got him. Yeah, Jay Z's only way he is because a lot of niggas didn't do what like a lot of niggas did, wasn't in his way. Like Pac died, Big died, DMX got fucked up, uh, Ja Rule ran into the G Unit issue. Like yeah. a lot of people for like Jay Z to be the man. It feel like LL passed the torch. Like when LL stopped and went to like TV shows, movies, whatever, he passed the torch. Jay Z took off with it, and nobody he had no competition. But if Ja Rule. Not really, though. If Ja Rule never got, got in the beef with 50 Cent, for example, and Ja Rule would have kept making songs, single, 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 Murder, Inc. would have never got investigated. You know what I'm saying? He would have had competition. He had no comp. He, DMX was no comp or Ja Rule because both of them went their own like, different ways. As much as people say they like Hov, and this is what I was trying to say earlier, but I couldn't. Most people say Hov doesn't really have a sound. Like, nobody tries to emulate how Jay-Z sounds because Jay-Z doesn't sound like anything. Exactly. That's actually pretty facts. He, he, he took Young Chris shit and ran with it. <laughs> oh yeah, he that's so fucked up. He straight yeah. space jam that <laughs> Took a he took Big L flow at the beginning of his career. He copied Big L flow too. Man, like I respect Jay Z for what he's able to put together, but like that's where it stops because Jay Z's a whole ass nigga in real life. <laughs> like I like the music and shit sometimes, but like he's overrated for one. He can't rap as good as people say he can. Like, if you take Jay-Z and put him up against the best rappers in the world, Jay-Z loses every time. Nobody gonna challenge Jay-Z, me on that? Jay- Jay-Z, he, 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 he's New York last hope, like. And that's why he gets so much love. Exactly. Nah, I, nah, I don't got no, I don't got nothing to say about that. That's right. <laughs> Where's Clint? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about that. Like I say, I put, I put X, I put X over J all day. Cause you can't you can't say nothing negative about Jay Z. You know he, he got Beyonce and he rich. He got flow. Your kids do get everything negative about Jay Z. He not the best nigga on the rock right now. Well, you got you can say Might that. But I'm talking like three. I'm talking about like compared to like a, a DMX or somebody. Like we could say DMX oh. a crackhead. We could say what um they say LL Cool J be messing with trannies like shit like that. Nah, he beat Khalees. Like you can't really say I nothing like talk that. about that shit. <laughs> Because Khalees really come out like, like she beat him. You, know? you you could say Jay Z be, uh, cheated on Beyonce. I don't care about that. That's big the album off that shit. Man, that shit pissed me off. Like niggas really bought into that bullshit. Like Beyonce gave you lemonade and Jay Z gave you iced tea and everybody was just fucking with it. I'm like y'all so damn stupid. I, I don't believe none of that bullshit. Yeah, that shit was made up. Yeah, I don't care what they do in their personal life. I mean, but Jay got Jay got. Some classics though. You can't take that away from him, though. Like, the he shit does. that he say, he the shit, the, the, some not... of the stuff he say though, get slept on though. Like, but if you like real simplistic shit though, like like what? Like, not like, like really amazing. Like yeah, one, one line that make you it. Yeah, I agree. One line that really like flew over my head for a long time, and I'm really mad it did. Is off a of click, right? Like, he's like, oh. Um, He's like, yeah, I'm talking bossy. I ain't talking Khalees. Your money too short. You can't be talking to me. Like, I heard all the shit except for the too short connection. <laughs> That's fire, actually. <laughs> but it's like simplistic shit like that. Like, only nah, Jay-Z could get him. You need to listen to the Black Album. You sleep. I did. <laughs> like, that was just one of them ones that snuck past me. Hold up, bro. So, y'all, okay. I get, okay, 99 Problems. He took that from Ice T. We, we, right. He's a swagger jacker. He take he take people records and try to make them better or whatever. But he took that from Ice T. Change clothes. Change clothes with for real. Fire. Now Slim Thug song first. That's for real's vibe. Like that's like I don't go to Jay Z to find that sound. What more can I say? Now excuse me, Miss. I just want to love you. I don't like those records. Those are the records what? that I wouldn't recommend to somebody. No, I don't like those records. Really? I'm not going to recommend that to a new Jay-Z fan. No. I just want to love you. It's a classic. Yeah, but... Uh, nah, because he took he took those bars, bro. He stole those bars in that song. When the Remy's in the system, I don't care about that shit. 
That's like an opening. Ugh, but, that's, on, but, that's, but, but that's when you take points off of an artist for stealing what? bars. Because he stole that's the flow. stealing a bar. Like, that's not, it, that didn't take any thought to think up. Sam, then Cam d- exposed him already on that. Yeah, but like, who cares? Like, that was just like, <laughs> hey, you can get that off in the diss record. But you, remember I Cam, you remember Cam exposed Jay from doing yeah, that? Yeah, I'm not a writer. I'm a writer of that shit. Yeah, what are you talking about? But like, but I don't it really depends. care. It's a difference between, I mean, it depends how it's delivered, though, because you could be taking it as paying homage or you could take it as stealing bars. It, it depends. It really does depend. Sam. If you sh- if you take somebody's opening bar to start your verse, that's not stealing. I think it's more paying homage. I just feel like if it's if it's one or two bars, like come on. It is like from a well known verse. Like everybody, like come on. Like there's 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 a lot of shit to kill Jay Z about. This ain't it. It's definitely not the hill. I to mean, die if on. that's the case, everybody been biting Nas then, because you know everybody references Illmatic at one point in their career. They gonna they gonna somewhat know. take an Illmatic line. So my nigga Jay Z took Nas hook dead president and made a, it a hook on his song. Like he been doing that since since reasonable doubt. That so his career is sample though. That's hip hop. So like you don't get points off for that. That's that's what hip hop is. But that's I know that. But that's I mean, come on. You he wasn't paying homage on on. The stuff that he did steal. No, he do, he wasn't paying homage. He was swagger jack. Like a lot of niggas do that, though. Okay, but it, you don't get points for being the GOAT. That's why he's not the GOAT, because he has that like on his resume. Because he has that I'm, on his resume. LL don't do that. I'm pretty sure he does. I yeah, can't LL immediately recall shit. the time he did, but like I'm sure he has. Name some bars that LL stole from somebody else. Hold on. Wait, T-Rex just said LL took, took some of his bars. For the song he did with Moo. Nah, for real, that's crazy. LL stole what? I, mean, I promise y'all, T-Rex is like a fucking magical leprechaun. Like, this nigga been all over hip-hop. <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, everybody know this nigga in hip-hop. Like, yeah, that shit really happened. <laughs> yeah, like, LL last album, T-Rex wrote some of that shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you can look in the credits. Oh, man. They wrote L- some of that shit. LL is an MC, man. He nah, you can't. He was an MC. That nigga an actor. Ain't no such thing as no MC when you that old, fam. Like, ain't nobody really trying to write with these niggas no more except for Eminem. Eminem only do that shit because he white. Who will win in a battle, Jay-Z or LL? Saying they prime. Oh. Uh, LL undefeated. I got LL. Oh. You crazy. Jay cannot go bar for bar with LL in his prime, man. Are you serious? LL on his prom is not good. Like LL is not a, the standard of a good rapper. He's not. <laughs> like no, no. A good LL Cool J verse is just okay. So if Jay would have took a shot at L and made a whole diss record, I'm talking about called his name out and everything, and went at him like Cannabis did. LL fires back. Who would win the be? You saying Jay Z would win the war? Oh, I'm telling you, Hov wins that. Yes. Mm. Easily, like this is not a contest, is what I'm saying. Like this ain't something I gotta think about. Like no, hold one. Like this is a this is my, a money back. My thing is this though with Jay though. Why he always duck smoke with people though? Like he dish you subliminally, but he never called you out like name. Like fifty fifty. I don't think Jay Z write great diss records. Like for as yeah. much credit as he get for Takeover, it's not a great diss record. It's just like people, like people know he fuck Carmen, so that kind of snug a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> But but it's like but he's like wh- like why he don't call your name out like fifty call your name out yeah he, yeah I don't know man it seemed like okay Not, you you send Beanie right. Siegel at Jada because you duck smoke with Jada that's how you know you don't want it you gotta that's send your, you gotta send your wolves against Jada come on man <laughs> I'm I'm not even I can't even argue with that style when that facts is the facts. Mm. But like the problem is like Hov is really really good at subliminal disses. <laughs> like, like that nigga's fucking yeah. amazing. So Shit. is so like, is Drake. So is Drake. I can't I can't because I don't know who wrote that shit, and I'm assuming it wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. But I mean, 
Same thing with X though. Jay didn't never want it with X, man. He he wanted to win at X though. He knew better. Hope didn't win it with nobody. He ducks he ducked Pac Smoke for so long. His pop was calling his name. X would have got him out of here. Yeah, because like Jay Z not really believable. Like, but it takes somebody believable to point that out. That's why he lost the cam, really. So basically he took the same route as LL. He took over the game commercially for what, ten years straight? Not even though did, when did Jay Z take over? It was always a bigger artist than Jay Z. 96 to 2006, nonstop. Nah. 96 to 2006? Him and them in there somewhere. I'm saying, a lot, Wayne rose up in somewhere. I mean, but like every, a lot of people claim like, But like he say, six summers he gave you platinum albums back to back to back to back to back. Back when going platinum wasn't hard to do. Huh? Back when going platinum wasn't hard to do. Jay-Z never went diamond. Because mm-hmm. people don't love Jay-Z like that. Who? So they like him. What? SG, what other... What other artists went diamond as, along with Nelly? Name name the top five that went diamond. M, Biggie. Yeah. Outkast. MC Hammer. Vanilla Ice. Biggie went diamond on what, what album? I want to say it was already that. Nah, that's impossible. One of those albums is diamond. One of those albums is like the fifth high, highest grossing albums of all time. I, hip-hop albums of all time. I'm sure of that. Yeah, I think it is ready to die. Hold on. So Pac, All Odds On Me didn't go diamond? No. Nope. Wow, that's disrespectful. It's like maybe at 8 million, so technically he only sold 4 million. Nah, that's disrespectful. But Outkast went diamond once, right? Yeah. Twice. The speaker box below and what else? That was it. Uh, and speaker box well below, that went diamond because of Hey Ya, because white people fuck with that heavy. I figured that. So you had to do what Nelly do just to do, okay, all right, okay. Yeah, you need white so, people to carry you the so, diamond. So, so how come Drake, how come Drake, can't, why can't Drake sell diamond, go diamond? Nobody's going diamond anymore. That's not happening no more. Streaming but he crossed over. He got everybody on his wave, though. Streaming killed that, though. You can't, oh, like, okay. it, nobody's going to yeah. put out a diamond album. So diamond That's is not, like a, a trillion people, billion people? What? Billion no, people? No, it's 10 million. It's 10 million. 10 million people went out and actually bought the Outkast record. In, in one country. In one country. Yeah. Cause like you can sell like ten million like worldwide and still not be diamond like certified diamond. You gotta sell so ten million in one. Country. That's only because they they got the white fans though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it takes a white fan base to sell ten million copies of anything. Okay, and Eminem did that with Eminem show. The well, Marshall because really, you gotta for a double Marshall disc is double. So all Outkast really did was sell five million albums, but you gotta double it because it's two CDs. Right, yeah, but like right, five right. times platinum is crazy. Like, yeah, <laughs> so that's yeah. kind of that cheap. That's happen neither. So that's that's kind of cheating a little bit because Nelly did it single handedly. One, right? Yeah, yeah. Nelly's really fucking impressive. Like I don't know why people hate on Nelly. <laughs> Anybody Nelly, can uh, The first of his kind, <laughs> bro. I mean, Country <laughs> Grandma was is a classic, but Nellyville is good, but it wasn't as strong as ne- as Country Grandma. Though. So I can see also, why I Country Grandma. Hear- I can see why Nellyville didn't sell. Like country grandma did, but it, it was close. The numbers were close. Hot here, like that shit ain't a classic, but it is. That shit better than all that gangster shit y'all listen to. I promise you. I like Air Force Ones better than um. Oh yeah. Than hot in here to me, you know. I do that. That baseline is crazy. And, and, and I'm a pimp juice. I like pimp juice nah, you know, better. They could have kept pimp juice. <laughs> oh, you ain't like pimp juice? You ain't. <laughs> what? Because I need the letter loose. She from yeah. Green. She from Green Bay. I'm gonna send her packing. What? You ain't from Russia, so bitch, why you Russian? <laughs> oh, uh, so he said all that shit with a do rag on too. No, he's the man. <laughs> technically, technically, Drake went diamond, bro. Did he? Diamond. Eminem mm-hmm. went play and went diamond twice. Y'all sleep. He he did it twice. I think he did back to back. Marshall Mathers and Eminem show, I want to say. Yep, both of them, back to back. So he would be number one rated, number one. That that sold diamond over Nelly. Yeah, Eminem is Eminem is the number one. Did y'all not know that? Only thing is, Nelly and Eminem did it in the same year. I think then they dropped the same year. Yeah, they was like they had a little beef going too. <laughs> wait, like wait. um, matter of fact, Nelly was yeah, dissing uh, so Eminem on. On number one, remember that shit from Training Day? Yeah, and what does it take to be number one? To yeah, what's not that, a win? That, that album should have did way better. 
that's the case. I mean, like, I try not to, like, worry too much about the numbers because ultimately all that means is, like, some other nigga bought the album. I don't give a fuck about that. I only like arguing with numbers just to, like, shut people up, really. When they try to argue with, like, shit that don't matter. But ultimately, Music To Be Murdered By is the number one album of the year. And nothing's going to be better than that. M is the GOAT. Hove is overrated. Nas, mm-hmm. I don't know why people are still talking about Nas in 2020. Y'all really should have left that nigga in 1999. Uh, who else? I don't know where this Trick Daddy wave came from. Put it back. Um... Nah, Trick got um, hits, bro. You sleep. Trick got hit. But look, I'm going to tell you who should have went diamond, though. 400 Degrees should have went diamond. Juvenile 400 Degrees. That shit should have went diamond. That shit should have went diamond. You don't think so? I don't think they nah, I don't think they care because, like, they was independent or they had, like, a real good deal with Universal back then. So, like, they was getting, like, heavy splits off that. So, like, even if they didn't sell as much, they was getting, like, they had, like, a one-of-a-kind deal for well, Baby and Slim. <laughs> Not the rest of them <laughs> Maybe Slim came up off that shit. Everybody else, uh I just don't like the way Birdman did uh Juvie and the rest of them. Taking their money and shit like that, man. Interesting, bro. Hey, alright, let me ask you this. Let's just say, hypothetically, Wayne would have followed the rest, Juvie and BG. Let's say he would have left as soon as the whole drama started. What if Wayne didn't make Carter, let's say, let's say Carter, the Carter 2, Carter 3, all those albums. What if he didn't make those with Fresh and, and stay with, um, you know, Young Money, Cash Money or whatever. He just kind of did his own thing without them. Do you think he would have still been as successful from the Carter all the way to the Carter 5 now? How do you no. think it would, his, he would have turned out? He would have turned out like another Juvie? Nah, he would never have even got that far. Manny Fresh made Wayne. As, as far as the production. Yeah, like, like, wasn't nobody the before the Carter? Like, there was a squad up tapes and shit. Like, people knew, but, like, people didn't know until the Carter. Mm-hmm. And, like, and what was it? Bring It Back? That was, like, the first the first joint off that? Mm-hmm. Like, bring It Back. Set up by the matter map. Nah, go DJ. People, go like, DJ. Nah, Bring It Back was before Go DJ. I'm sure. Title. You're right. I think, I think Go DJ was, he dropped that as the single first and then Bring It Back was the second single. No, Go DJ the second single, Bring It Back the first single. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, I mean. He had a single, he had a single before that too, but the single flop. I don't know if you remember what Manny Fresh, he changed the beat for every verse. Um, what was it? By a nigga, man, finger on the trigger, got money in my pocket, I'm an uptown nigga, that shit. Nah, that's Neck of the Woods. That was on Birdman album. Yeah, 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 you're right. Ah, oh, damn. It was a song like Baby Girl Shaking Like Beyonce. I forgot about Beyonce. And every verse. Yeah, that was like on some soundtrack or some shit, wasn't it? No, that was the first, that was the first single for the Carter, but that shit flopped. I don't remember that at all. Nah, I, ain't that I never knew that. Yeah, that shit flopped. Then uh, um, that's when they came back with Bring It Back. Yeah. And, and like, people started to catch on that Wayne could actually rap. Like, I don't think people knew before then. And but, then, but like, Wayne would have, he, he would have blew up without, if he would have left cash money because he was going to Rockefeller. Yeah, That's but right. like, going to Rockefeller Jay-Z. didn't mean nothing at the time. Jay-Z was going to Jay-Z would have put that game. boy on. Yeah. He would have turned out like J. Cole. Look what happened to J. Cole when he went to Rock Nation. Now, they yeah, put he, him on the shelf for a while. And, like, right, he was. honestly, what, Hope didn't really do shit for J. Cole except for, like, give him some features. That's why I say Wayne would have been Wayne would have been good because all J. Cole, J. Cole blew up off his on his own with the mixtape. That's what Wayne was J. Cole's was doing a much already. better artist than Wayne. Like Not J. Cole good, knew how to make enough. music before. He good enough. Like Wayne know how to write punchlines. That's it. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to find out what the name of the song was. I'm gonna see if I can find it. Man, see, that's, I remember that show. They kept the Wayne pop. I don't know, man. I, I just feel like Juvie and BG, them guys. You know, they they could have been bigger than Wayne was. Wayne wasn't meant to be as big as he was. Bro. Nah. Nah, they, nobody, nah, none of them niggas could have been bigger than Wayne. Juvie? Because nah, Wayne, I'm about to say, Juvie. one time, Juvie now nah, what? Bro, Juvie, Juvie songs, you know what I'm saying? Juvie songs, like his singles up there, like close to what, what Wayne was dropping at the time. Like not Rodeo really. and all that. Not really. Not really. Get something, that's the name of the song. That was the first single for the call, that shit flop, get something. Fam, y'all got to remember, like, when Wayne was on everybody's shit, 
when Paris Hilton had Wayne on her shit. That was before. <laughs> that was before the Carter three. That was around when the Carter three dropped. He started doing that. He wasn't doing that when the. Right. So what I'm saying is like when he was that big though, like Juvie never had potential to get there. You wasn't going to I mean, be I mean, I mean, okay, okay. The reason why Juvie fell off is because <laughs> Manny Fresh stopped making beat, stopped doing his production. I agree. I don't know. Who did uh, slow motion? Uh, some dude from New Orleans. No, so was a slump producer. I forgot his name, though. Yeah, that was somebody else. But I'm saying if Manny Fresh would have produced the whole album on um the whole uh, uh Juvie the Great album, for example, mm-hmm. he produced bounce back i need it in my life yeah he did those two records but if he would have produced the whole album and then right after that when he dropped the rodeo produced all them songs on that album juvie could have stayed relevant though when he he you know what i'm saying mm, i don't know i think juvenile is one of them niggas who like like people at that point for- wayne didn't have it. no comp wayne didn't have no comp that's why it was easy for him who was going to compete with, who was doing what wayne was I'm doing saying- I'm saying from his own city. I'm saying if Juvie would have stayed consistent, Manny Fresh was messing with Wayne over here, and Manny Fresh making for, making beats for Juvie, the whole album, just like he doing for Wayne. And Juvie getting pushed by another label, while Wayne getting pushed uh, by no, Birdman. No, no. I'm gonna stop oh. myself because because Manny only did the Carter, the Carter two, the Carter three. Other people did that shit. Yeah, Wayne, like Manny Fresh made people listen to Wayne. I don't think nobody was going to listen to Wayne until, like, until Go DJ. Like, that's when people really knew. Then Wayne wanted like, to stop working with Manny first. He didn't want to be put in a box. He, I bet he wish Why? he Why? He, 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 he wanted different sounds or what? Yeah. Um, yeah, like, right. then if, if you ask most people, most people going to say the Carter too. I don't know. I, I prefer the Carter I myself, know. but most people say the Carter too. Yeah, I like the card of one because I guess of the the content of the, you know the beast was more fire than the card of two to me too. Me too, but Lil Wayne was a <laughs> slightly better rapper on the card of one in my opinion. Like he got real stuck into that punchline flow on the card of two and everything for it, and I just got so bored with that shit. That and hustler music, I fucking hate hustler music. Nigga, you know you can't fucking sing. What the fuck are you doing? I don't know. That flow on the first on the first verse was crazy though. Mm-hmm. Ah, ah. That shit that's that's the start of mumble rap. It I didn't like them. I didn't like fire. Black. I ain't fuck with fire, man. All the hoes at my high school like that shit. So I kinda like had to like pretend to like it. Mm. I think I was in high school then. Yeah, I wasn't the biggest Wayne fan like coming up. Too many goddamn freestyles and niggas was easily impressed. Oh my god, another punchline. Oh my god, another punchline. Alright, well we finna we're going to end the show. We'll catch y'all next week, Wednesday. Stay tuned for a surprise episode. We'll keep you updated. And this is It's On You Podcast with your hosts, SG and G Money, Clint and Prime Phoenix. Special guest, Sam. Nisai Joe. Now make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all follow us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Spotify, however you listen to your podcast. We on there too. Hit us up on Twitter at It's On You Podcast. Hit us up, It's On You Podcast at gmail.com. Join the Facebook group. Thanks.